Wonder Wheel. I don't want to go through life being a Wonder Wheel murderer. What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to another collectible pass where we're getting ready to talk about our favorite toys and picks of the week. And of course, as always, my co-host with the most, we got the man of the hour, the art king of the power. We got Vinny Art. What's up, Vinny? What's up, everybody? Hope everyone's having a nice evening and uh, ready to talk some toys because uh, I know we are. Us yeah, we're, we're, we've been we're talking about the good. We're talking about the good ones too, not the uh, the double double A battery ones that the ladies are used to. Not that there's anything wrong with that, ladies. It's just not our thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what they like. Uh, it's crazy. Uh, and that all day long, my foot up a dog's ass. Just bang, bang, bang up his ass. That's my pleasure. <laughs> that guy was a national treasure. I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> he absolutely was. So before we uh, really get into it, let's uh, say hi to all the people that have already been stopping by in the chat. And and the chat has been busy for quite some time. Uh, first one in the house is Chaos Hoy. Uh, it's, it's saying, "How's everybody going?" Uh, I I mean, there, there's a little bit sad news on that, but it's sad with hope. So there there was a problem with Cliff Jumper where he was having issues where he wasn't eating. He wasn't moving. He looked lethargic. He looked a little confused. Um, I spent most of yesterday with him uh, all the way up into the early morning hours. So I, I'm working on four hours sleep. <laughs> but uh, I spent a lot of time with him, gave him some extra stuff, vitamin C, syrup, gave him like critical care, peppers, and all kinds of lettuce. I gave him all kinds of extra stuff. And it seems like it kind of like supercharged his system and he's moving around a little bit more now. And he looks slightly more alert. So, I mean, um, I got I got hope. I got hope that he, he's going to pull through. Uh, yeah, I can't man. I can't lose another freaking main main star you know, like that. Like I can't. Oh, God, man. He's he's an OG pig at this point. Know. You know? Yeah. But yeah. Ho hope everything's going to be all right. And yeah, he's going to he's going to keep uh, keep that energy going. He's a good little dude. You know, I'm going to do whatever I can. If it gets worse, of course, there's a, a vet visit, but it, it is that is what it is. Uh, Toy Mafia in the house. What's up, Toy Mafia? Good to see you. Uh, DVB in the house, man. What's going on? I hope you're doing well. Thanks for stopping in. Thanks for hanging out. That, thanks for chatting before the stream. Papa Cotton uh, back on the uh, the channel chat end of it. Uh, we finally got it worked out on our end. Uh, so YouTube, uh, guess what? <laughs> I figured it out, and then I got past you and your bullshit. Disney Sheep Herder in the house. What's up, Disney Sheep Herder? Uh, just seen him earlier over on Orville Nation's chat as well. Uh, Orville nice. Nation PJ is such a freaking nice, awesome guy. He, him and Maria were having a stream right there. I couldn't stay on as long as I wanted because, well, I had other things to do. Uh, also stopped on earlier with Ryan uh, Roger Athney, and he, uh, he had a uh, Baron, uh, Baron uh, oh, God damn it. I always forgot how to say his last name, but uh, but Pop Pacific uh, 414's buddy. Oh, God damn it. Uh, I, yeah, I'm sorry, Baron. Uh, your last name messes me up sometimes. So we also got Lurch Troll in the house. What's going on, Lurch? Good to see you, man. Hope that you're doing well. What's up? And guys, remember, as always, uh, share the links out there. Let everybody know that we're live because YouTube likes to play the game. So I've uh, also got Tim's talk in the chat. What's up, Tim? Good to see you. Yeah, hey, buddy. Uh, Mr. Vinster Geister. Hello there. Hello, fellow Vinny. Yeah, hello. Vinny's are always welcome, as long as they're cool. <laughs> we also got Bad Take Bojan in the house. What's going on, Tina? Good to see you. I hope you're doing hey, well. Tina. We got the dogs in the chat with super fan Adam Shawhan barking all up and down the chat, man. Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, we also got Bone in the house. What's up, Bone, man? Good to see you, man. Yeah, I know. We, we got that. Your name's Vinny, too. We got it. <laughs> might, might, might need to put me in a timeout. Oh, no. <laughs> guys, guys, behave. Behave. So I assume it's canon that in TMNT, the turtles' mutation allows them to shed their shells like hermit crabs. Uh, no, but they are doing that with the... Um, the TMNT X Masters of the Universe crossover. So, uh, it, it, 
is what it is. It is what it is. And uh, what's going on, Slasher, joined by other co-hosts? Ow. That's all that's, I have to say for today. Ow. Oh, man. Ow. That's, that's how I full, feel. Today's full of ow. Yeah. Today, today's outlook. Pain. Today's full of ow and go fuck yourself, life. <laughs> <laughs> we were kicking that. it off correctly. What's going on, yeah. Doc? <laughs> I know no how to problem. bring the party. Sorry, man. Uh, it, it, it is what it is. I, I've got a freaking major headache as well, but we're going to get through this. We always do. Uh, we're all champions here. But uh, I'm going to kick it off. We actually have a brand new segment that I just came up with off the top of my head. And why not? And that's how we're going to kick today's show off. Guys, let me know what you think about this new segment. We're out here in the garage doom and then we got this is a big giant tonka winnebago yeah uh my parents have gotten this for my brother it's just a really odd thing but there we go it's got a little bit of an inside to it i believe the chairs actually moved too yeah they do yeah old taco winnebago Things built to last. It's seen better days, but things still hanging strong. And we got one other one here. I'm not even going to unshrink wrap this, but here we go with another old school Tonka fire truck. Yeah, these are all metal vehicles. We came with a little fire hydrant that you can actually hook this thing up to a water source and had a hose that right there could squirt out water. Pretty cool, man. Yeah, I I had the I used to have the Tonka. It was a big, big ass yellow uh, dump truck from a uh, Tonka truck. I have no idea what the hell happened to that thing because it was in the old house. And when I cleaned out the attic, not there. <laughs> now, if I would have brought that shit down the ladder, I would have known. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, Papa says, uh, the Joes could cook meth with Barbie now. And, and yeah. DBB says it looks like the RV from Breaking Bad. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's going on, CJH? Uh, gotta get off Twitter because old me came through for a second there. Something pissed me off. Yeah. Uh, Twatter will do that to you. Uh, this is why you got to take Twatter in small doses wrapped for your safety. Yeah. Well, you know what? It, a lot of this stuff was shrink wrapped when I brought it back from my dad's house, and it was the easiest way to keep everything together. Just shrink wrap everything. Shrink wrap is your best friend yeah. when you're moving. Uh, what's going on, Soul Assassin? Man, good to see you, man. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> the Winnie is dope as fuck. You know, some of those old Tonka trucks, even something weird like that, I always thought were interesting. And as far as like a dump truck slasher, I did have one of those as well. It wasn't Tonka though, it was a Canadian toy brand kind of done like that Tonka, like all metal style and it uh -huh. had like a little switch on the side and it was piston actual like legit pistons like oh, you would see cool. in a car that actually lifted the back end of the dump truck up yeah this I, one I just had, had the one this one just had the back that you just flip up and down it wasn't you know no button or anything oh well I haven't seen one of those in years. I still have the tractors in storage. Nice. Hey, what's going on? Team 29. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Uh, so well, what did you what did you think about the uh, interest, the uh, in introduction to the uh, new segment? Cool, I like cool. it. I like it. And that was good. That looked cool, too. Yeah, I think I'm going to do them just like that. A lot of them are going to be the stuff that I have stored out in the garage, like a lot of the older shit like that. Um I think that's probably the best way to do it. It just it's a little, it feels a little bit more natural than bringing it in under the lights, just like real, like I don't know, mm -hmm. flea markety. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. It's good though. It's good. Got a retro uh, flavor to it. I love it. Unironically, yeah. <laughs> I'm almost tempted to make off on the Winnie. To be honest, <laughs> offer. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you got to be living in a mansion to have all that stuff shit i wish time profit if i was living in a mansion i would have a whole completely independent room with all my toys up on the damn walls and you would see the massiveness of the collection i have just in the transformers alone 
But in order to get more than transformers, I'm probably going to need an airport airport hangar. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah, really marketing. <laughs> you are not wrong, my friend. <laughs> but uh, Vinny, uh, did you want to go, or did you uh, want me to to lead in with another topic? Uh, I could. Oh uh, well, um, I could start with a short because I know that you uh, we have this we have uh, the other segment coming up later, so um hold on i i know I, I put up a couple of shorts to just the other day uh go to my channel um yeah what do i have here because yeah we, we yeah we we went to a few stores and did i show the toby mcguire spider-man last time i don't recall to be honest i don't recall that one no well, well we can show it anyway uh this yeah the shorts are kind of quick and, and we'll just zip through uh, but again, it's, yeah, it's just kind of like, you know, the soft opener, essentially. Um, um, but yeah, yeah, these are, these are pretty cool. Yeah, I don't think oh, cool. Is that Bizarro? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so we'll show, yeah, we'll start with Bizarro. Um, yeah, because like Tommy was saying, most of these uh, store shelves, like they're not really restocking stuff. And then I found like this on the bottom, uh, the McFarlane two-pack thing. Which again, I, I wasn't going to get them because I'm not, yeah, I'm, I don't know, I'm kind of done with this guy's shit. But uh, I wanted two older ones, or well, that I got a couple of weeks ago, and I'll review them, and then that's about it. But Bizarro, yeah. Bizarro, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm not, I'm not getting any more of the McFarlane shit though. Oh no, I'm saying you got, you got a couple of older Bizarro figures. You're saying no, 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 uh, McFarlane ones, just in general. Oh, oh, yeah. But I thought this looked pretty cool though. Um, and they reused the Dark Knight uh, figures that he had released um, from that wave where you 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 put together the horse. Okay. Those. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that. Yes. Yeah, so, I mean, that's uh, that's McFarlane does. He likes to repurpose these fucking things. So, um, and that's why. Yeah. That that's a Superman body. They just they change the head and and basically the, the paint scheme and the and the SLS. Well, 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 here here's the question that I have. So we all know what the problem that they're having with Hasbro and most of these toy stores now. They, they're they're mm -hmm. sick of them overpricing a lot of this damn shit. Mm -hmm. And you know, a lot of their stock is not kitten restocked now, and it's almost right across the board. I would say somehow Walmart is still getting better deals, and I'm I can only assume that they must be buying in higher quantity than Target for them to get better deals on some of their stuff. But yeah, like Targets and stuff like that, they are not restocking anything Hasbro, and it wasn't just Hasbro. What the mm -hmm. hell did McFarland do? That they're not getting restocked as well. Uh, I, I got a theory on that, and I think it has to do with theft. Uh, Target, they don't have anyone by the door or checking receipts or anything anymore. Um, Walmart does. Walmart, at least by me, there's been a lot of theft in those stores in a massive way. And, uh, yeah, if, if you buy something and you're on the way out, there's a couple people now that, that stop you, and they want to look at your receipt and see what else you have. Because most people at the self-checkout, they're stealing things. And uh, I talked to someone who's working over in Target, and he told me even the employees in Target are stealing at the uh, registers. Jesus. Yeah. So uh, I think that's why they're not restocking certain figures. And these companies are probably like, well, that's even a, a, a more massive loss than just the shitty stuff that wasn't selling. Now we're bringing in product, and it's just really just being, you know, five finger discounted. So, uh, yeah. There you have that. <laughs> no, yeah, that, that's just ridiculous. Uh, real quick, uh, say hi to uh, Scrambles, the death dealer. What's going on, Scrambles? Good to see you. What's up, man? Uh, T. Hillam, if you had some figure reviews up, uh, go ahead. Um, just post your, post your link for it in the chat. I, I don't mind at all. Uh, let's see what else. Yeah, um, these, yeah, these are pretty cool, too. Um, uh, I saw like these comics in, in the one comic shop, but uh, on the other side, they had a couple of like those hot toy things and we know the rocks a dick and everything, but I, I do like the, um, the craftsmanship that went into his hot toys, uh, black Adam figure. And I, I put that in here and like, dude, the detail on this thing, it, it is sick. And from what I understand too, they did like the, uh, Fison bodies. So he's got, it's got like a metal skeleton with like the, the squishy silicone body. And then they put the suit on top. But I think they made a brand new one specifically for this figure. And that's why they released two of them. So you have them from later in the movie where you can see more of his golden stuff. And then you have the one where he kind of first uh, emerges out of his tomb or whatever. So he's uh, I, I will I will say I do agree with uh, Adam. Uh, yeah. guy, guy, guy's a, oh, yeah. 
<laughs> and you know what? Um, considering all the the horrible shit that has been coming out about this guy lately, it, mm-hmm. it is kind of poetic justice that that freaking Black Adam mood and failed so freaking miserably. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I don't forget. He's the guy who single handedly destroyed Shazam because he refused to be <laughs> in the movie. He wanted to have his star, his character <laughs> pop up first. <laughs> And then, uh, yeah, well, we'll do a couple of movies, and I'll, I want to be a big hero, and I want to have my big thing with Superman, and then we'll bring Shazam in. Like, you're an idiot, and you destroyed it all. So, yeah, and he also had that major ego on him that he promised the studio that Black Adam and the cartoon one with the dogs, like the super pets, he promised them that they were each going to make a billion dollars. And uh, had that happened, he would have been in charge instead of James Gunn, but he dropped the ball in such a massive way that they just outed him completely and said, fuck you, his character and everything. Wait a minute. Could he really drop the ball? Wouldn't you have to have balls to begin with? Uh, bad take, Boge. And uh, my sister had worked at Target for over 30 years. She says that they are one of the only stores that tried to stop shoplifters, whereas most other stores let them walk out without attempting to stop. Well, that, I mean, this is the problem. Like yeah. Vinny was saying, if the employees are stealing too, do you mm-hmm. think that they're going to give a shit that somebody else is stealing? Yeah, because it sounds like it, it's it's different per state. And I know, I know was it Chicago? There's a lot of them there that they uh, um, they don't want to lose them completely because then the next time you need you want to go to a Target, you, you're going to have to be driving out of town completely, like 30 miles or something to go 30 to 100 miles to go find a damn Target. Um, over here, like I said, it's weird. The ones that I've seen. They don't try to stop anybody. And my friend who told me again, um, the massive theft that happened uh, just a couple of years ago, uh, I want to say in 2020, around the time of the, the lockdowns and shit, um, there were people who were, they snuck into the back. They put on red shirts to make it look like they, they worked there. They went into the back and started stealing the PlayStation 5s and other electronics back there. Um, and no one was allowed to stop them because at that time they already said it. Um you know, it was it under a thousand dollars or some shit. Um, but at the same time, too, their their policy was not to um, not to try to stop anyone. That's what the, the dude told me specifically. And now, fast forward, with all the extra crime that's here, it went to another level. And he says people are literally like those shelves, like they used to have Marvel Legends, like almost wall to wall on one side, completely gone. There wasn't even a peg for them anymore. Uh, it, it, it really got into insane levels and you kind of see it all over. Like you said, the McFarland section, they'll bring some in, they'll sell out. Some things will be stolen and then they don't want to restock. It, it's, it's bizarre. I don't know what the hell's going on, but, um, I know Walmart, like I said, the ones that I've been going to, they check everything. If you, if you have a bag in your hand, they want a receipt and they kind of go through uh, and see to make sure. Uh, they, they tried to stop me at my local Walmart. I had mm-hmm. the receipt in my hand and they yeah. watched me come through the self checkout line. So I had one item uh-huh. and I didn't put even put it in the bag because mm-hmm. what was the point? The item was, it was the Godzilla. Right. I, I wasn't putting that big giant thing in a bag. I don't even think it would have fit in their bags anyway, but I had my receipt in my hand. I had mm-hmm. one item in my hand and the guy tried to stop me. I just showed the receipt and kept walking. I wasn't stopping. I was like, I ain't fucking stopping. Yeah. I say, you know, and this this is the problem I have with stupidity like that. Um, They can kiss my ass trying to tell me to stop because Mm -hmm. they got cameras all throughout Walmart. I mean, I don't know if they do at yours, but my Walmarts, they have cameras everywhere, Uh through every goddamn aisle, all over the place. They see what you're doing at every freaking moment in that damn store. If I was stealing something, well, they already got me on camera. Mm Mm-hmm. So what's the fucking difference? Why should I stop? Because if you got me on camera and I stole something, you're going to get me anyway. Right. Yep. But if I didn't, and you could see that because mm-hmm. I was at the register when I was paying, what the hell should I stop for? Yeah, that's a fair point too. Most people, they they, they do the old switcheroo at the, at, at the self-checkout. That's why. At least in the ones near me. So it's like, okay, it, it makes sense. But if it, it helps deter some of the theft, then that's a good thing too. Yeah, scrambles. Yeah, I mean, uh, unfortunately, that's that's the bigger picture that a lot of people miss when they talk about stealing. You know, he said my daughter stole a Cadbury egg from Walmart. I was upset with her. She said, "It's it's it's a big corporation." I told her that's why shit is so expensive now. People stealing shit while well, I got to mm-hmm. pay for it, and that's what most people miss is like mm-hmm. every time that shit is stolen, 
Guess who's paying for it? The next person that is paying for an item. Yeah. And that's just the way it is. Mm -hmm. Have you? No, I have not seen it. Um, I, I didn't have a chance to go out in theater. Money has been really tight, and especially with the pigs and, and the betting and food and everything costs so much. So uh, I'm going to have to wait to try to get that on a, a physical disc, which is probably going to be even harder now, considering that most of these places are getting rid of them. Yeah, Best Buy is done on officially. We covered that um, like two weeks ago, a week and a half ago. Um, it looks like, yeah, Walmart's next. Yeah, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. They said, uh, what was it, uh, Barnes & Noble? I think they said that they're still going to be putting them in there, but we know that they jacked the prices up there too. Yeah, so that yeah. or Big Lots. I mean, Big Lots is still carrying I'm kind of, I'm kind of surprised they're even still around at this point. I heard that they were another one that was close to being on the chopping block at this point. Oh, okay. Shit. No, probably. Yeah, it, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. But yeah, um, yeah, they're going to get you. They're going to get you time profit. Yeah. <laughs> we'll swing back into the toys, but uh, yeah, I saw, I saw these things over there at, at, uh, at a comic shop, and I thought they looked pretty neat. The Shazam's tiny. He's maybe six or seven inches, but. He's, I think it's like the similar type of thing. They're, they're like a multi-jointed uh, uh, body. They might be like like a mini Fison. They could be. I don't know 100% because I don't know which company did this one. It might be Mezco, but I, I don't quote me on that. But he still looked really good. Like I said, there were there was some fun stuff. And oh yeah, here was the uh, the Tobey Maguire Spider Man, which the likeness was sick on this thing. Like the yeah, you def you definitely did not show that one. Okay. Yeah, he he looked really really good, uh, but yeah, that's like the uh, official Hot Toys one, um, and I, their display was pretty nice. They had some really cool looking uh, figures and stuff, and yeah, there's the Green Goblin. He looked really good too. So yeah, man. I, I, yeah, what the hell is that? Is that the costume he has in the last one? Yeah. Okay, I didn't see the last one. So. Yeah, he does have – you do see him with the green helmet and all that, and then there's a part where he kind of – like he's losing his mind a bit, and he's trying to go back to Norman. And, yeah, next time you see him, like, yeah, he kind of – he does like a makeshift thing. And uh, hello, Miss Martin Muses. Good to see you. Uh, congratulations. Uh, over a 1,000 now, right, Miss Martin? Oh, that's awesome. Congrats. Hell now, yeah. now, if only if I can get the uh, YouTube monkey off my back. <laughs> <laughs> If they would just give me my damn watch hours. Right? At Chaos Always, thank you. Yeah, guys, make sure you pause, smash that like button, or uh, art art check it on, if you're on Vinny's channel. Uh, guys, you know, we're on both channels. Uh, yeah, be sure to give it. love on no matter what channel you're on, and we do appreciate everybody stopping in. Thank you for being here with us. Absolutely, yeah. Go hit those like buttons and everything. Uh, let me see. And there was – I saw this, too, in the store. <laughs> Adam's not here, but yeah, it's the first time I actually saw Steiner uh, in stores. Uh, he looked damn awesome. good. Yeah, the, um, it was their uh, elite line. Uh, yeah, oh, that's good. awesome! They put the fucking the the bulldogs for the truck, the the the, the yeah. things on the, on the front of the trucks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, on, on your shoulders. Awesome. Yeah, man, they did a great job. Uh, I, I was pretty impressed with that. Hey, Trina, so that was cool. Hey, What's Trina. Up, yeah, yeah, because I was I was looking for a Piper. Uh, I heard that Walmart has like an exclusive, but it's it's not the elite ones. It's uh, the ultimate versions with you know the white box. Um, but I I didn't see. That. I guess they're not out yet. But uh, yeah, him and um, a brand new uh, Bret Hart that they're exclusive. It's like the Monday Night War versions. So they both come with le uh, leather jackets that you could pop off and pop the arms off and. Yeah, Bret Hart with his uh, Captain Crunch jacket. Yeah, and yeah. you see, I, I, I do appreciate some no, of these, these classic ones that they're doing. Uh, some yeah. of the newer ones, I think, are a little bit uh, sketchy at best. Yeah. But th yeah. these classic ones, most of these have been pretty damn stellar. And hello, yeah. Courtney. How you doing? What's up, Courtney? Hi, Courtney. Yeah, but like this one, because um, it's not the it's not the brand that's a little more expensive. The elite ones, I think, are around 20 But uh, like this is all a solid jacket. The Piper and Bret Hart, they both have black leather jackets and uh, the arms actually have like their ball jointed and, you know, they have actual articulations in the arms and you could pop them out and put in their regular arms so you could have them in their wrestling gear. So that was pretty cool. Uh, that's what they do with the um, uh, the ultimate figures. So I think I show them here. No, I didn't show them on this one. 
Uh, but yeah, and, and I saw this at Walmart as well that uh, they have, I guess, the uh, third movie. I never even saw the third movie. Me neither. But I never saw the I never saw the second one. I seen the second one, and I, I when I watched it the second time, I remember why I didn't want to watch it. The second <laughs> time. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Um, no, yeah, yeah, I, I, I think yeah, yeah. yeah, I think the guys this weekend they're they're gonna be uh, they're gonna be uh, meeting Kevin Nash probably. Hey, what up, things. Draven? What's hey, up, Draven. Dude? Yeah, you're gonna go meet Super Shredder, oh. right? This weekend. <laughs> so yeah, those those were the uh, the shorts that I had up for this. Week. Hey, hey, Draven, if you're meeting the uh, old, old Nash boy, uh, be sure to kick him in the nuts for me. <laughs> <laughs> you, you saw three, and you love TMNT too. I am not surprised, Draven. Oh, boy. I'm not surprised. <laughs> I I hate it too. I'm sorry. <laughs> I did not like it. I remember as a kid seeing the commercials for it and I, I saying to myself, seeing the commercials, like, I don't think I want to see this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and oh. I never did. Oh, uh, Draven said you. he already got to meet Nash. Uh, my condolences. <laughs> <laughs> I think Adam wanted to say something to him. <laughs> okay. You seen him the last time you're there? But Tommy, by the time he goes to stand up, he'll blow a quad. <laughs> You're That's right. right. Yeah, he, he can't chase any of you guys. He's in jeopardy of doing that. He I couldn't chase me with my bad knees. <laughs> he, he's going to pull a Shane McMahon, and both of them are going to go at the same time. And he probably couldn't knees. chase anybody in his prime, let alone do you, now. Do you sure. suppose that the big guys are like uh, elephants? Did they get scared of like uh, rodents? Like maybe if <laughs> I bring one of the pigs, he'll jump up on the table and scream. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mick Foley. Oh, God. I'm so sorry, Draven. I'm sorry. Hmm. What are you going that. to a lefty convention? I was going to say, you go to the Democratic <laughs> or something? I didn't know Horror Hound turned into a Democratic convention. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> uh, did you have anything, Slasher? Uh, no, no. Okay, all right. I, I got something that I'm going to run with. Um, so this is a Transformers. I was talking to Pacific about this. So I was kind of leaning back into some of the uh, older Transformers. I mean, they're not super old, but the, these are like um, 2014 or so, I think it is. Uh, this one I've actually had for quite some time. I actually got it at a discount once again. Ollie's, Ollie's is the shit, man. It, people, if you do not shop at Ollie's, you really need to go there. They're freaking incredible, the deals that they get, especially if you're a toy collector. All these toys that wind up off the shelves that didn't sell, they, they wind up with amazing prices at Ollie's, and, and sometimes you can get absolutely amazed, especially if it's something that you might have passed up on. Like there was a few I passed up on early on, and I'll be getting into that one later on, but so glad that I picked it up when I went to Ollie's, especially at the price that I pick it up. And I'll get to that when I get to that figure, but let's get into this guy. See how many of you know this one. Welcome back as we are hanging out with Cliff Jumper. Getting his nom on. Cliff Jumper, the master of the Transformers. Of course, ready for the next Transformer review. So, from Hasbro Generations 2016, we got Titans Return Leader Clash Dreadnought and... Decepticon Overlord. Now, if you didn't know anything about Overlord, he actually was a Japanese exclusive release to the Transformers. It was part of what we considered Power Master series of figures that Hasbro had come out with. Uh, they called them something slightly different in Japan, where they were called God Masters. Otherwise, this one does a lot of justice to kind of look like the original one. I'm going to post a picture right here on the right-hand side of the screen to kind of show you what the original one looked like. And I was really excited to see this one. I knew who this character was. And since they never really had an official American release of this character, and they did include him in one of the IDW comics with the last stand of the Wreckers, I was really excited to get this piece. But enough about that. Let's get it out of the box. And let's take a look at it. Who 
速ジェットと巨大タンク驚異のトランスフォーム合体ついに現れた最強のデストロイオーバーロード今地球が危ないトランスフォーマー破壊大使オーバーロード The Transformers will return after these messages. Dude, Yo, why is that the most awesome Transformers commercial I've ever seen in my life? I'm telling you, man,、right? those old Takara commercials are just absolutely. It might be, yeah, I think it might have to do. Holy shit. Dude, next time you go to Ollie's, knock shit over. You said it was <laughs> older, but knock <laughs> shit over, dig through, see if there's one somewhere buried. <laughs> Well, here, here's the, the most heartbreaking thing about that. So, when I got this, I do get into the price store in the video, but I can say it right now. I got this for $20. They were $19.99 a figure. These things were originally selling for like $60, maybe even $70. Because、wow. this is like a 12 inch tall figure. He's、yeah. big.、Um, I bought three of these suckers and I shipped them UPS. This is when my mother died in 2018. I shipped them UPS down to my house with a bunch of other figures that I found dirt cheap while I was up there helping my father out with you know, all the particulars of my mother's passing and everything、yeah. uh, and clean up and all the other shit. So、um, I shipped them UPS and the box got destroyed.、Uh, most of the figures that were in there got mangled. Oh, man. So I had, the, yeah, I, I got paid from UPS. I had to fight them for over three months to get paid for the damage they caused to the damn package. It looked like somebody did a Mick Foley elbow drop on top of the box. It was、oh, smashed、no. up. We all know Mick Foley's a sack of shit. Yeah, that, that's a big, heavy lump of garbage that's falling down on your box. But、um, <laughs> so I got totally paid. And I, of course, I didn't get paid, but I paid for it. I charged them some of the bitches what the going rate was on eBay because that's what you do. That's,、Good. that's, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not, I got paid for it. But what I decide, since they said that they wanted all of them, because they said that yeah, they sell them off or they do whatever to try to recoup losses,、mm -hmm. I kept one of them. I was like, fuck you people. I'm keeping one. There's、mm -hmm. nothing you could do about it now. So,、yeah. I kept one of them anyway. I kept the one that was actually in halfway decent shape. But, um, yeah, holy、nice. shit, man. It, it, what, a, what a find that was.、Uh, we got more to that.、Uh, Going to the toy stores and fuck that place up. Got it. <laughs> Pop would be like the old days in the 80s when they had Cabbage Patch everywhere.、Uh, it, it, just watch out for that one teller that's got the bat. Mata Tony, what's going on, buddy? Sorry. <laughs>、so、hey, man, you arrived right when you were supposed to. It's not a big deal. Hey, I always say that, but when I'm late, they say they make fun of me for being late. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it's a little bit different for you, Vinny. Yeah, we, my we, balls. We, we expect more out of you. <laughs> <laughs> I do what I can.、Damn. My cracker. My cracker. <laughs> All right. We're going to get into part two of Overlord.、Uh, there was so much to unpack with this one that I had to do, break this up into three different segments in、uh, StreamYards. Damn it. Why don't you fix this thing so I could upload longer segments, you sons of bitches? Right. We now return to the Transformers. So, right out of the box, here we go with Overlord. Now, I'm going to post a picture of the original one right off to the side here. And you can kind of see why they got some of the colors pretty close. They weren't exactly perfect, but you can definitely tell that this is Overlord. Now, of course, like I said, where this one changes, where the other one was a Power Master, as I called it in Japan, a God Master, this one is a Headmaster. Now, while this one is a big, blocky figure, you can see he does have some articulation in him. He's got a little bit of a turn up there at the bicep. He's got an elbow cut. He's got some pretty decent shoulder movement. He's got a single jointed knee. He's got nice rockers down at the feet. He's got a ball and twist sitting up at the hip. Absolutely no waist turn. And he does have ever so slight a little bit of head turn as well. You can see he's got his gun right here, and he's got the other part, which becomes his plane, up on his shoulder because he does split apart and he becomes a tank, a jet, and then he can form together into an attack battle station. And here we go with one more pose showing him off in a nice big wide legged stance. This guy balances perfectly, I will say that. So, one more shot kind of showing how well that balances, making it look like he's running right at the camera, and this one holds, 
holds up very well. Very good balance on this figure. Even though the articulation is a little bit on the weak side because he's so huge, he does stand up very well. So if we take Overlord right here, we fold this back, flip this helmet up, should be able to pop this little guy. There he goes, Jesus, went flying out. And there you go, you got Overlord's face right there. And you just kind of flip the legs around and there you go, you got his little guy right there, that is Dreadnought. The Transformers will return after these messages. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. I remember seeing a couple of these in the stores when they did come out. Like you said, they were way too expensive when they were like a Target and shit. But uh, yeah, man, those look damn good. Yeah, man, um, I'm really glad that I picked this one up. Yeah, Papa, uh, hit hit the like, you haters. Don't don't hate. Don't hate. <laughs> he joined the headless hunt. Yeah, uh, this one is absolutely fantastic for what it is, and especially since it's it's a little bit older because I believe it was 2014 that mm -hmm. this one came out. Most impressive for what they did. Once again, because it's such a large figure, you don't expect it to have that much articulation. And I was able to get him in like a, almost like a semi-running position, and he was able to balance fairly well. Mm -hmm. And and I'm always impressed when you can do that with a figure, especially a figure of this size. Oh yeah. So uh, I did make a mistake early on. I do correct it in the third part. Uh, the, the, I there wasn't much movement in the head. Yeah, it's because I had the back piece up. And they don't say that in the, the shitty directions they give because they never do. They're 35 step directions that they give, which I, I didn't use at all. Mm -hmm. I, I never use it when I get these transformers unless I, I hit a snag and I can't figure out how to transform it because it's some weird twist it around this way and then bend it under that way and then tuck it sideways. Yeah. Unless it's something like that that I just can't quite figure out. Most of these ones, it's just I just go for it and I figure out how to transform because I mean, that's all the fun because they're like puzzles. And mm -hmm. yeah, it, you should be able to figure them out. Yeah. Not a good time to lose one's head. <laughs> <laughs> Lurker stream. That's all right, man. People are hanging out watching, man. I hope that you guys are enjoying. And if you are enjoying, be sure to hit the like button uh, wherever you're at and uh, subscribe or um, follow if you're over on Twitter as well. Uh, we yeah. do appreciate everybody that's stopping in. It, it is always appreciated. It's all about having a little bit of fun while we're showing these things off. Uh, are Transformers easier than Rubik's Cube? Uh, most of them. Most of them are. Mm -hmm. um, a few of them are, are kind of tricky, but... Yeah. If you get those Japanese imports, <laughs> forget it. That's that's origami mixed with the Rubik's Cube. No. Oh, the third-party ones? Whew. Yeah, man. That Megatron still gives me nightmares. Uh, yeah, some of those are absolutely ridiculous, <laughs> and, and the joints are usually sloppy on them, too. Like, I have that little, it's like four or five inch tall Megatron, man. Wow. Tr transforming that thing is just a mess. That but one looked amazing, though. It does look great, but the joints are super loose on it already. And oh, it's wow. the same thing with that big um, knockoff Constructicon set. Like, most of the arm joints after transforming from vehicle to robot and then into the freaking Devastator model, most mm -hmm. of the joints are already getting loose and they don't hold together uh, very well. The arms fall off in Devastator mode and I'm like, shit. Well, I had a leg fall off, but then, like, one piece was, like, so stuck, but I finally got it to to get back where it's supposed to be and it was all right. But, I, again, I'm, I am I haven't been transforming them when, when I did have it displayed. I just kind of put it, I put Devastator together and just kind of had him there. So I, I wasn't too much movement going on. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome shit, though. Um, let's go ahead. We're going to get into this third part and uh, mm -hmm. we're going to round them out. And of course, that's going to be his alternate modes in this one as well. And I think, with the exception of the city base, and you'll see what I mean, I, I think the other two forms are absolutely fantastic. Like, well done on this one. Okay. We now return to the Transformers. And here we go with Overlord in his attack city base mode. And last but not least, here we go with Overlord broken down into his tank and his attack jet form with Dreadnought sitting in the pilot seat. Another shot of the tank in the jet form now with Dreadnought piloting the tank. And one more up on their end so you can kind of see what the top of these ones look like. 
And there we go with Overlord. Now, I will mention if you move this back piece that they say you're supposed to have in robot mode, if you move it back, you get a lot more movement out of this head. Uh, I, I don't know why they don't tell you just leave it back. It looks kind of goofy sitting up anyway. So there you go with them. Um, not bad. Not bad for an older figure. Yeah, a little old bit of an older figure. Uh, it, it does have plenty of movement in this thing, especially for a big, huge figure. I mean, if you take one of the other figures that I just did recently, let's take a War for Cybertron Optimus Prime. And he, he's a pretty decent sized figure, but if you pop him next to Overlord, yeah, Overlord is pretty huge next to him. Really nice figure of Overlord, especially if you never had one, because of course, like I said, uh, it was a Japanese Transformers release only as part of their God Master line, or as we knew it, the Power Master. I gotta say, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this one. There's a few things that are a little bit lacking in articulation, but it can be forgiven since it is a bit of an older toy. Overall, I gotta say that this one is really nice. The ability to break up, break into a jet and a tank is relatively seamless. Even the really shitty attack base mode though, uh, really, I gotta say this one is very close to getting a perfect score. Uh, a, a little bit tricky on some parts and it's kind of a pain in the butt to transform them. But overall, I gotta say it's a very solid figure and I would give this one a nine out of 10. This was very well done. Anyway, guys, that is all we have on this one. Decepticon Overlord. I think this one did a pretty good job capturing that G1 release of this toy. But what did you guys think about this review? What did you think about our grading on it? Be sure to let Cliff Jumper know what you thought about this one. The Transformers. Transformers. Jumper. Yeah, I, I was saying in a nine out of ten uh, from the from the first segment. Uh, that's what I was thinking because he looked damn good. Um, yeah, those battle base modes are always shit. But I I didn't know that he split into two like that. Yeah, two vehicles, which both look great. Yeah, yeah, man. They they both they uh, that part was seamless. Like changing him from tank and jet. From the robot mode, absolutely seamless. Where it got a little tricky, where I said in the review it got a little tricky, is turning it into that base mode. And yeah. I think that base mode was lackluster at best. And that's why I posted the uh, pictures of the original one, where it's all spread out and it actually kind of looks like a base. Mm -hmm. Where this one just looked like, I don't know, a tower with legs in front of it. It, like, it was very unimaginative the way they did it. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, yeah, that's a beautiful piece. You couldn't get his head off? Oh, I got his head off. It, it's just in there nice and tight. I'd rather the head be in there tight. I mean, that's how you want it. You don't want it loose, uh, Time Profit. I, I don't know what you're working with. Um, might be a little bit on the smaller side. Might be a little loose. Uh, uh, they, they have pills for that. Uh, <laughs> my drinking game for this channel would land you in the ER. <laughs> that's the truth. <laughs> uh, DVB, um, pretty close. Pretty close. Uh, I don't have all of them. I have a lot, a, a whole lot. Vinny has seen a small taste of what I have, and Slasher has seen my really bad um, ability to try to maintain my purchasing when I go out. <laughs> mm -hmm. But no, yeah. I, I I have a lot of them. I don't have all of them because, yeah, that would require me to be um, – really made of money <laughs> and i'm not i'm not I, I buy what i can when i can yeah. and yeah unfortunately i sometimes spend a little bit more than i should and i put myself in bad situations every month because of it yep i think that's just the uh that's how his collectors are <laughs> it, it absolutely is and, and thank god i'm not like some of these other collectors where they have the rule of two you know Oh, geez. Uh, you, you, you buy one to keep in the package and you buy the other one to open up. Uh, yeah, the geez. only time I'll have a rule of two is, again, if it's Ollie's and it's like army building and there's, you know, they're like five bucks. I'm like, yeah, that'd be great. The <laughs> only there, there are moments when I will buy two and that's only if I'm speculating. So mm -hmm. if I look at a figure and I say, you know, this one is going to go up in price in a year or two. 
I will I will do what I can to buy at least one more there. Sometimes uh, maybe two more, so I have a couple to sell. Uh, but yeah. once again, that's all depending on finances. Well. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Because I'll say that I had done that with the uh, G.I. Joe classifieds with the twins, uh, Tomax and, and Zaymont, because during the holidays, uh, Ross clothing store or whatever, they had them for five bucks. I'm like, five bucks each? Yeah, I, th I, I think I'll, I'll get them to – I'll leave these. I'll open these, and the other ones I'll keep in the box because the box did look amazing where you had the Cobra insignia that, that lines up. Uh, when you put both their boxes together, like it, it just it's classy looking, and I love those characters. So. Yeah, yeah, Soul Assassin. I always talk about that's why even if I get extras, if I get extras, if I can, mm -hmm. the most I will take is two of them. I won't take all of them. No. Yeah, that's that's shitty. If there's a great deal on something and you already have the figure, and it's like, yeah, this is too good to pass up. Yeah, I mean, if you got the dough on you too. That's always that's usually a problem for a lot of yeah. Us. I, I see everybody got that uh, the Cibrola two sit training yeah yeah, <laughs> and uh, Lurch awesome really good books really good the Darth Bane series excellent books oh, cool. and uh, there were I did a video a while ago there there's a little thing and there kind of throws everybody's um uh, bitching and whining about apparently there was a Leia scene where she was floating through space um. Darth Bane books actually have have something in there about that, and he does it. So it was already canon, and nobody's bitching about that for because it was the EU. Uh, so yeah, um, I, I got a little hate for that video. Not even gonna lie, and no. uh, you know I don't give a shit. <laughs> I just spoke the truth, and people didn't like it. But it, it mm -hmm. is what it is. What are you gonna do? Yeah, that happens a lot when we tell the truth. A lot of people they cry. But um, I I'm going to move ahead and uh, bring up a toy break, Vinny, and then uh, it, it is back over to you, sir. Cool, cool. Yeah. All right. That. All right. So, guys, here you go with uh, your toy break. Here we go with your toy break for the day. So this is one of the ones that I've seen out there a few different times. I know Decepticons, Kings of Comics and Builds has actually uh, pretty much uh, let me know that these things were even existent. So I got this. I'm pretty sure that this is the second wave of these blind boxes with Godzilla. As you can see, I already opened this one. Um, did not get the figure I was hoping. And I wound up getting Firefighter Jet Jaguar. Uh, I was really hoping to get one of the Godzilla ones, but that eh, kind of is what it is. So there's only a few in this one. So they, uh, they've got the Godzilla 57 silver screen, Godzilla 57 x-ray glitter, Mecha Godzilla shadow, medical jet jaguar and the firefighter jet jaguar i haven't seen the other ones that look more like the shogun era ones yet just not in my stores but we do have this anyway guys this is your toy break for today dude um yeah man it's uh it's a shame you didn't get the one you wanted though yeah it is i, I was really looking for the shogun toy era ones that they had out with the godzilla mm -hmm. with the old flame breath from the old shogun toys like scaled down to the three and three quarter size but yeah I, I mean, these are still kind of cool in, in their own right um 
I mean, unfortunately, these things are like sixteen dollars a damn blind box, which kind of sucks. That's kind of yeah. expensive. Yeah, it is. That's that's definitely on the pricey side. Those bastards. Uh, I'm sorry, Tony. Um, yeah, you know, it, it always sucks when everybody has rough days. Um, I think a lot of us have been having it, especially with pets lately. It seems. Oh my god! Yeah. <sighs> it, it, it's then it's, 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 your way, pal. Shit. Um, very cool. A space or Mech Godzilla? Yeah, right. Um, I know Playmates was doing some stuff mm -hmm. with, with some of those. So I do have. Oh God, I do have one NECA Godzilla in the back that was Space Godzilla. I showed it off for quite some time ago, Soul mm -hmm. Assassin. Uh, it, it was a decent looking figure too. I'm pretty sure it was NECA. I, I would have to look back in the back to make sure. Maybe I'll mm -hmm. post it later on Twitter. Uh, but yeah, that, that one was pretty cool. Nice. Spy X family figures. And I, I seen something about Klingon. I'm not sure what they were talking about. I, I, I know I got a Klingon tattoo on my arm. Big, big uh, Klingon fan from the old Star Trek days. Nice. Yeah, they did pop a cotton. Disney just, they shat the bed like they always do. Yeah. But yeah. It, that it is what it is, yep. and there were we're great characters. There was Star Killer. There's a bunch of them that just they they left in the wind. Yeah, and, and that's that's why we don't give them the time of day. <laughs> but yeah, big, I sir, um, I unloaded a whole bunch, and uh, yes, and it's well, up to you. Yeah, uh, we're we, it's trivia time. We're gonna get into trivia because it leads right into my first figure review. So uh, yeah, here you go. Right, folks. Uh, so. Plastic, really, die private. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no oh. shit. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. Yeah. But yeah, that that has remained consistent throughout the years with him. It's always been a ruby quartz crystal. Yeah, it has. And uh, but yeah, this version is plastic, actually. And uh, yeah, we are breaking into it um, again. I love the Jim Lee designed. Uh, Those X Men ninety seven. Yeah, the one X Men ninety seven figures. Yep. Uh, I, I did end up going back and I, I grabbed this one because, um, yeah, I, I think this is this is the best version of him. I have one from a few years ago and it has like the ugly uh, pin joints and he has like, you know, these yellow straps that are on his legs. They had them separate and they kept falling. And I think they put extras on his biceps, too, which were, which was incorrect. So I'm like, ah, it's retarded. Um, so, yeah, I ended up uh, I said, screw it. I'll, I'll pull the trigger on this one. And I'm glad I did because it's it is a much better figure all around, cleaner, clearer, and the uh, optic blast effect is incredible. Uh, I was really blown away by it. Plus, again, I grew up on that cartoon. Uh, the old stuff was uh, absolutely amazing. Oh yeah, um, yeah, man. And the packaging on these things, man, awesome. Yeah, this one it, I did. It's very, it's very clean packaging. It is. It, I was so tempted. I, I kept one of them in the packaging for a while, and then today I just screwed, screw it. I took the knife and I cut like on the top of it and around, so I could kind of slide the figure back in if I want to want to hang it on the wall again. Um, but yeah, I I love these, man. These look absolutely beautiful. I'm not getting the whole wave, obviously. I, there's characters I don't care for, versions of them I don't care for, but uh, yeah, because I already I have the good ones, you know. Like I have the really good Storm that has the classic outfit with the with the black uh, kind of like bikini looking thing. Um, that one's that's epic with the lightning coming out of her fingers, the long flowing hair. Like yeah, so I don't need this shitty version that's that's here. 
Um, you know what's kind of crazy about this 97 line? So before they start infusing some of the ones that from the cartoon, like that Magneto with the purple look, they did they, yeah, right there. Yeah. They did the red, yeah. the original red yeah. version. They also yeah. did, because I seen the Time Prophet said his favorite was Gambit. They did do a Gambit and Wolverine, and they looked absolutely amazing. They uh, do look they, good. Uh, but then they, they, they did a Bishop, and I don't know if they did Cable yet. I don't think they have. No, no, only Bishop, yeah. And Bishop looked damn good. I came close to getting him, but I'm like, right now, again, money's kind of tight. So it's just, it's certain ones. I'm like, all right, I have a little bit this week. Fuck it. I'll get this, you know? Um, Cause again, I don't have a Magneto. I didn't have a Magneto like this. I didn't have a really good kind of classic one. So that's why I said, let me, let me get him too. Cause I you know never had that toy biz one with the, the magnets on his hands back in the day. But like, I don't have one that's like in this, you know, the more. Modern oh, is that what he had? Vinny and I were talking about the other night because I had that original Magneto and I could yeah, the one where you could what take his helmet where you could take his helmet off. Yeah, yeah, because he I was remember standing, I, he stood really stiff like he had a fucking crowbar up his ass. Yeah, like a lot I had, of those early, had, like a lot of those early toy biz figures left. Well, yeah, I had yeah. the Cyclops and I had uh, Colossus, I had Wolverine, I had Sabretooth, I had Nightcrawler. The Nightcrawler had the stupid suction, the cup suction thing. cups. Yeah. yeah. But mm -hmm. the, the Cyclops actually had a little button on the back and his, yeah. you know, it was like yep. it would light up like it was the uh, yeah, Optic yeah. Class. The Optic yeah. Class. And Storm had the same thing where you push, mm -hmm. push the, uh, you pull the thing on her back and her, uh, the lightning bolt on her, on shirt, her chest. Stuff. Yeah. yeah. But the Cyclops, he was, he was the blue and white version. It was like the X Factor. Yeah, the X Factor one. Yeah, the one I had was actually the blue and yellow. They did a later one of Wait. this this costume you're talking about, right? Yes, or close. Yeah, to they it. did a later one of this, yeah. but the, the original had the he had the the, the cow and the, yeah. the X on his. Uh, but yeah, white uh, like, on his like I was saying, the uh, yeah for for this kind of line and this wave um, and this style of figure with the multi joints and all that great stuff, like I again I, I didn't have a Magneto. The only other one that I saw was the one where he was like white and silver. Something from like one of the newer comics, and I I don't care for that. Like, give me the old one, give me the good one. Oh, the, yeah, the I saw on uh, on the back on the back of the card they have him in his when he was with the X Men costume with the M. Yeah. Okay, so I'll, I'll say right now, uh, the the Magneto one, he's from uh, series one, and the Cyclops is from series two. So that's why, like, um, I found this one in a GameStop as well, and there was only one sitting on the peg. Most of that series one wave, uh, it's kind of hard to get. You'll probably end up seeing in stores. Storm is still usually available, um, and sometimes you you'll find a, a bishop. I know one store that has a bishop, and that's why I was tempted. But I'm like, ah, I can't right now because he does look fantastic the way that they did him. Well, the, like I'd seen all those early on, and I seen a couple of the stores that were just loaded up with them, with the Wolverines, the uh, Magnetos, yeah. Bishops, like all of them, and they all went pretty damn quick. The they only did. ones you still see a little bit of are the little tiny three-inch ones. Yep, yep, yeah. Those don't, don't really move for shit, but yeah, the ones that are in this scale, forget like Wolverine, completely gone. I got my hands on one uh, when it first came out. Um, uh, Rogue is usually she's pretty. She's pretty much gone. I know a bookstore has um, a gambit, but their prices are like an extra five or ten dollars on top of it. So I'm like, nah, it's bullshit. Um, but yeah, let me continue the review. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Th these guys are, are pretty damn amazing. Uh, I wasn't crazy about his regular generic face there, but the one where he's gritting the teeth and you can put the blast effect in, perfect. Why didn't they have a changeable head for Magneto? For him with I, no I, helmet. I, I, yeah, you're gonna hear me talk about that as well during uh, yeah during the other review, but um, yeah, I, I was I was pissed by that factor as well. Um, but yeah, yeah I'll, I'll get into all that stuff. But yeah, right out of the box, this guy is amazing. The he actually has butterfly joints that work. Uh, there's a lot of them that don't, especially a lot of the the Marvel Legends stuff. Like they'll put them in there and then like they they won't budge. This guy's they work beautifully. Um, yeah, you get him to some really awesome poses, and that's what you need out of these. And again, he was a fantastic leader for the X Men, even when he was kind of dickish. Like he would do the right thing, he would do the stuff that Charles Xavier wanted him to do. Um, and yeah, yeah, he gets he gets the same uh, rep as a leader that Leonardo gets. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, you're right. Um, but yeah, but again, both good leaders, and uh, yeah, it, it I works. know, but people shit on them though. 
Oh yeah, absolutely. I always liked the character. I thought he was, he was always pretty cool. I did too. Yeah, man, and he had Gene. You know, he had the hot redhead. So he's winning. Uh, just like the head movement in this, the ball joint is so great. You could make the chin touch the the chest. The head goes all the way back. Pivot side to side. Um, that's what you need because especially when you put on the alternate head with the blast, yeah, you want them to be able to shoot in all directions. Um, and yeah, the shoulders that actually work, uh, excellent stuff. The, the double, uh, hinge for the elbow, beautifully done, seamless, you know, it's like, once you see it, it's like, how come they weren't doing this from the beginning? You know, but, uh, yeah. And, and he comes with alternate hands. The one thing that really would have put this guy over the top, like into bonus territory is if he had the, um, the, the, another head that just had his regular, like, uh, red sunglasses, that would have been really cool. But I'd say the light up action, bring back the light up action. Light up actions. Yeah. That would be cool. But I think it's a little too tricky to do. For me. Yeah. They don't, they don't like to make toys with the action features anymore. Anyway, yeah. do they? Cause usually, usually they won't have head movement if you do that, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So that's the only, that's, that would be the downside, but uh, it would be pretty cool to see. Uh, but his articulation is really good. They, they kind of hid the joints too in, inside the costume, which was really wise. Um, and a lot of them, they do have different articulation. I noticed not all of them have the same kind of joints. Uh, which is a little bit of like a, I'd say a first with this kind of line, but yeah, this is the alternate head. Um, and again, yeah, it's kind of, it's, there's a divot in there for the, uh, for the actual blast effect, which this turned out beautiful as well. I don't know why they weren't doing this earlier on. I think this is the first figure, the first Cyclops figure that actually came with something like this. Um, and yeah, man, they, they did it in a pretty epic way. So I, I like how it looks. The plastic is, is really, really nice. Uh, and the color is, is just right. And like I would have thought, oh yeah, maybe it should have been a little more red. Nah, it, almost like on the pink side kind of works, especially when it's like on a shelf or something. Dude, yeah, it, it really looks like it's lighting up. So that that was really cool. Yeah, that looks fucking awesome. Does yeah, it weigh? It, does it like weigh when you put it when you put it on I, his head? Like, it actually, it doesn't. It's it's huh? very balanced. There's no dipping or anything. So, um, however, the, whatever plastic they used, it was perfect. Uh, yeah, and he comes with the alternate hands, so like, so he could like kind of touch the visor, like how he would control the amount of blast that would be coming out. Um, pretty good. I although I think this hand that that one I just showed, it feels a little too large when you put it on his wrist. But the closed fists look good. The one where there's the two fingers that like touch the visor, um, that that, that one awesome, looks good. Man. I like that. <laughs> right. Dude, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, that's why I'm like, I said, you know what? I said, yeah, let, let me, let me just get this thing. And these look uh, like these was, these look like they would go good with like those Street Fighter figures, so you could do your own X Men versus Street Fighter setup. Oh, for sure, dude. Yeah, in fact, yeah, I probably should have done that. I should have taken out a couple of the Street Fighters. Um, there, there he is against the uh, Goblin Queen, which again, she's a beautiful figure, but she has some limitations. This guy, I, I, I didn't have any issues with it, with this one at all. Um, I think this is probably the best Cyclops figure they ever made. Um, and again, especially if you love the Jim Lee era, uh, and you're a fan of just like the X-Men in general, Mark Silvestri type shit. And and all Cyclops, that. Uh, what, to, to, to Helen? Where he says Cyclops had a brother. Yeah, Havoc. Yep. yep. Havoc is yep. Cyclops' brother. Yeah, yeah, he had the... Uh, uh, I forget I forget what his brother's um, name, because he was Scott. What was his brother's name? Alex. Alex. Mm -hmm. That's right. Alex Summers. Yeah. But they're not blood brothers. They're, they're both adopted. Oh, they weren't? Okay. Yeah. I, yeah. I forgot they're that. both adopted. Yeah, because he, yeah, he had like uh, like um, Sonic Blast kind of out of yeah. his hands. Yeah. But yeah, uh, good stuff though, man. Yeah, like I said, the posability on this guy, amazing. The balance on the figure, incredible. The, the, whoever, like, made it, yeah. That looks fucking dope. Oh, man. Right? Dude, and that's another reason why, like, I wanted that Magneto. I passed on him so many times, and then, like, the last time I went, I'm like, this is the only one I've seen. No other stores are carrying Series 1 anymore. And Dude, like, fucking, I, I remember the first time I seen that, I was telling you about it. I was like, you, you got to get that Magneto. You got to yeah. get him. And you were the right. one, the one from the Age of Apocalypse, actually wasn't that bad either, because I still see that every once in a blue moon at some of the ollies that I have. That one, the I got M one, the, the one with the M on his costume. Um, 
I can't remember if he had an M on his costume. He might have. I forget. But I remember just looking at the figure, and it looked really good. Like they had um, him. They had a uh, Shadow Cat. They uh, the build the figure for that series was Cyclops. Uh, not uh, Colossus. Colossus. They yeah. did have a they did have a Cyclops, but he had him with the long hair. So mm -hmm. I mean, he looks a, a lot different than the classic design, but it still looked yeah. pretty damn neat. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, yeah, these are beautiful, man. And yeah, yeah, you are 100 percent right. But again, I passed on Magneto so many times because again, I was getting a couple of those GI Joe ones, and like you know, budget wise, it's like, like I hope I don't miss out on it. And I'm I'm glad I eventually did. I was able to, to snatch them up because uh, yeah, yeah, these are killer. Uh, and, and, and and now all you need is for the pig to go back to Walmart and find that Jean Grey for you. Yeah. Oh, I I ordered her last night off a of Big Bad Toy Store. How much did you pay? Um, and just an extra four bucks on top of what it would have been. Oh, okay. All so right. Hey, not too not bad. bad. Yeah. Yeah. Not too bad. Um, but yeah, this guy must buy and he's the first figure I think in a long time that I gave a 10 out of 10. I was thoroughly impressed with this fucking thing. So, um, yeah, if, if you're a big X-Men fan, Jim Lee fan, you like Cyclops, do not sleep on this figure. I saw someone else reviewed him and they said that this body they used on the cell shaded VHS versions. And I've only seen one or two of those figures in a bookstore. And it wasn't him though. It was, there was a Jean Grey that looked all sloppy. It didn't look right. And I think uh, storm and I, I passed on both of those. They were way too expensive too. And uh, they said, but this body was similar or almost the same exact mold. Um, but yeah, having it in, in this, line with the extra accessories the extra head and hands and yeah this thing put it over the top and no crappy cell shaded look um yeah this this is epic so again if you guys haven't um yeah go go snatch these up before they vanish because i know a lot of these x-men ones they are disappearing fast out of stores i think that just says something about the quality that they actually put in it and this is what i said about freaking hasbro uh they can do things right when they decide to do it right i agree and I think it depends too on the property itself, right? So um, the X Men, it's a huge yeah, man. They they X Men like you don't want to fumble X Men, no. especially when it's your last gasp of like Marvel interest. Yeah, I agree, dude. I agree. Um, yeah, yeah, it, it, it's it's pretty amazing. But yeah, uh, as I was saying though, too, man. Um, I, I'm not getting too much Marvel shit anymore, Disney shit, and just in general i finished with the gargoyles there's only two other figures if they make them or when they make them i'll probably end up getting and i i, I really am i'm done with that line what, what about um, that big collector one vinny no 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 the one that's no no i'm i'm good <laughs> <laughs> i told you if that stone version uh the sega looking one if, if that if that one's on on clearance somewhere I, I missed them at the Walmart. They had them like for a lot cheaper at Walmart, and then he was he was gone. Like I came back from the convention, and yeah, he was already gone. But yeah, he's one I would probably get at a discount. I'm not paying full price for those. Um, but uh, yeah, and the Marvel stuff, it's like key characters, you know, certain ones because I have a good collection of the Marvel ones that I really enjoyed. X Men team. You know, I I'm, need I'm, a Wolverine figure, damn it. I haven't. I I'm lost probably, my original nine, Wolverine is gone. Long the 97 gone. one they yeah. did, man, it was that, like that thing was absolutely excellent. Uh, real quick, um, I want to thank uh, Disney Sheep Herder or whatever, you know, Disney Sheep Herder. I had to leave earlier. Uh, thanks for being here. Uh, DVB also has to take off. Guys, uh, thanks for hanging out with us. Have and once guys. again, for everybody that is still watching, thanks for being here. Uh, be sure to hit a uh, the like and the subscribe or follow wherever you are. And uh, please enjoy the show. Nice, man. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, and time probably. Yeah, yeah, I mean, double speed to catch up. Oh, shit. I must have sound like the Micro Machine guy, right? Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. This was killer. And again, super happy that uh, I had gotten this one. So yeah, that was my uh, my first big uh, review of the night. Uh, Slash, you got something? Uh, well, I, I, I just... Hold up the uh, the OG X Men figures. Oh the yeah, one. man! I, I'll tell you that, one thing. That's the Colossus. I was, you know what? I had that Juggernaut too. I forgot all about him because I remember I told you, Vinny. I had yeah. a few more. He oh, had roller skates. I, 
That he jumped did. in the head roller ski. He did. Uh, you, you tip him forward and push him. That's how. We, you know what? He also I mean, did I have a, the. He had the trigger on the back that he punches too. I mean, I made a mistake. Yeah. I thought I had the blue and yellow. No, I had the blue and white. This one. Now I'm looking at. Yeah, I had that one, and I also had yeah. Archangel. Yeah, oh, I was so pissed. I missed the Archangel. It was around COVID, I believe. They. I only saw him one time at uh, Books a Million. And he was like a deluxe figure for some reason. And yeah, it was the Archangel. And oh my God, he looked good. But you know, yeah, this yeah. one was nice and simple, but it was still cool because, you know, it was it lit up. Yeah, I, I did like this one. As you can see, like the packaging is very similar to, like, you know, the newer ones. But like, see, I, I like the throwback. What I, I didn't like this Archangel figure because look how friggin' stiff he is. Look, he looks like he has a friggin' crowbar. But, but he, had, he had missile firing at the time. Yeah, he did. Place. That was the he fun did. part. <laughs> yeah, he did. This is true. And he had the thing on the back where, you, where the, the wings flap. Yep. See, you got the little trigger where the mm -hmm. wings flap. See, this one too. This uh, the apocalypse, apocalypse with the eating disorder. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my brother had that one, and I always hated it. I also had a. Mr. They made Sinister. a better one later, though. Do they you did. remember later on they did Mister Sinister, and he had yeah. those light up eyes? Yeah, he had light up eyes that too. One, yeah. yeah, that one was, he was awesome. Good. Yeah, that was a nice figure. His Nightcrawler with the stupid suction cups. This would be such an awesome figure if, if it, it wasn't didn't for the have suction those cups. stupid suction cups. Yeah, I ripped those things off and tried I to did down too. the plastic. I did too. I have it sitting on my shelf over there. Yeah. <laughs> Like the Colossus one with the freaking the big giant the barbell. Bar okay, yeah. see this is another one. It could have been awesome, but it's so stupid. What's his thing? Oh, he lifts a weight. Ooh, they should have just had his hands like Hulk Smash style. Yeah, and his arms go up and down, that or like he does like some sort of punch or whatever. Yep. Nah, he lifts weights. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I took a magic marker too, and I and I I made his hair all black because I'm like this is wrong. It's supposed to be the metallic shine that's it's blue. Is the Magneto one? Those idiots. Yeah, see, oh, he. Yeah, yeah. His helmet was was mm -hmm. huge. <laughs> yep, yep. I do remember this one. And he's another one who was standing there all stiff and shit. Yeah. It was cool though. You could put this. He could hold the. Yeah, these metal gears. I just saw there's there's another company that um, I forgot the name of the company. They're doing like a 12 inch version of him, and they actually did make his hands magnetic, so you could put like actual screws and things and whatever's metal. Well, well the, this one was in. too. Oh there yeah, were, there were magnets in the palms. In in her palms? No, oh, no, 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 no. That magneto. The, the magneto. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He had a, he had one in his, in his chest too, I think. Yep. Yeah, this one she had the light up uh, chest piece. Yeah, they said this is one of the hard. This was one of the harder ones to find because I guess they they had the uh, the McFarlane thing where uh, female figures don't sell, so not too yeah. many stores had this figure. Yeah, I, I got it from I a friend. And it, it. I got it from a friend and it and it fucking crumbled. It shit fucking broke. Oh shit. Well, I mean, the legs and every and the arms are very spindly on that figure, and I know myself, mm -hmm. I could never find it. I mean, I was actually, I felt really fortunate to find the Wolverine and the Sabretooth when they came out with Sabretooth with the flip around chest with the battle damage. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 yeah, I, I felt lucky to find that one because most of the stores did not have him. See but that? This, this, is, this Wolverine... is the first, the first Wolverine, the second Wolverine with the blue outfit. I because yeah. I had both of these. The blue outfit was so much better. Well, I always like this outfit better, but the figure itself, well, they they were limited with the arms if they were going to have that spring-loaded claw action. So, you know, they had <laughs> to have this, like, no elbow bending or whatever the fuck. You know. But that was yeah, the first his, his, ma game. his mask on that Wolverine was almost like a ring. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is the second series. Yeah, we had I had that Gambit too, and I had Forge because I was telling Vinny I couldn't remember them all. So I had Forge, I had my friend. Um, one of my friends had that Forge. Figure. That Gambit figure was dope. I never got him. Yeah, that was pretty cool. That that I hated the damn jacket because it, it was, was just garbage bag, plastic. right? It was, it garbage was that cheap bag. plastic like the old Star Wars toys. Yep. That vinyl, that cheap vinyl shit. Yep, that was a massive mistake. 
Because that, that was a really nice figure. What did he do? What was his action? His arm swung up and down with the... Uh, oh. oh, power or, kick. No, it was the action. kick. That's what it was. So he had the kick. So but the Mr. Had, Sinister was awesome. Um, yeah, my, my friend had this had Mr. Sinister figure. He was awesome. Iceman. Iceman yeah. sucked. I like that Iceman figure. I didn't like that one at all. I liked it because there was no no one had clear figures like that. They didn't have any. Yeah, figures clear like clear that. figures. Yeah, that that was a unique gimmick. Wow, that thing turned all yellow. Yeah, that was a problem with the clear plastic they were using back then. It would turn yellow really. And easy. then they made a later blue one. Like I think he was more looking like the sled. Kind of. Yeah. Shit. Oh, here's the here, here's the saber the tooth. Yeah, super saber tooth was awesome. Forge was incredible. Mm -hmm. I th I think that two packs it's coming out one. soon. The the Jim Lee styled saber tooth with Wolverine, like the the one with like the the red shirt yeah. and the cowboy. I guy. had I had this fucking guy. I loved this fucking guy, Forum. and oh, he yeah. was part of the Great Attic Massacre. I want to fucking oh, kill no. somebody over. He got caught up in the Great Attic Massacre of whatever that year. Because I found out about it like almost 10 years later. So I don't even know what year it happened. That's a shame. Come on, look That's... at this fucking guy. I love this guy. Yeah. Frankie. <laughs> Iceman played on the yellow snow. <laughs> What's up, Frankie? Yeah, Lurch. Yeah, almost, right? I seen the, the little three-inch figures with the jet. I mean, th those three-inch figures, they're not horrible. That's the Wolverine I had, man. Absolutely yeah. incredible. Mm -hmm. incredible. The only thing is he was too tall. That was the only thing with this figure. Yeah, he was. Well, he yep. was still much shorter than Sabretooth, but... Mm -hmm. This he was the better one. The brown suit one was their original, original figure that they released first, and he was not as good. <laughs> he had, like, the weird pop-out claws, but it was, like, up his forearm, like a little latch thing with a spring mechanism. Yeah, I just, show I just showed him a while ago. Yeah, yeah. He was not good. <laughs> go, go, go back to him. Yeah, classic classic costume was, was fantastic. Yeah, that one. That was the first one that I did have, though. But it was the first Wolverine figure where they showed his face. Because this it ain't was. the first Wolverine figure ever. The, the no. Secret Wars one was before him. Yeah. Yeah, he just looks so fucking awkward, right? Yeah, weird as shit. <laughs> he's, he's got the Frankenstein thing going on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hey Adam. What's up, Adam? Adam. Can't hear him. You gotta All right, I'll, I'll just go to I'll go to see what uh, they evolved into by series three. So they just did a couple of redos. It looks like. Let's see. This is the blue Iceman figure. Yeah. yeah what's up? It looks better. Like there that. he is. Yeah, I, I, I just stream yards. That I original one you showed, you got him. You put water on the sled. You put him in the freezer, and he turned blue. Oh, that's what that was. That's okay. what that one is. Yeah, because you you put water. You put him in there. You put water in it, and then when he freezes, kind of like the Coors Mountains turn. He yeah, turns, yeah. He turns blue. Okay, so he goes yellow to blue. Interesting. We'll quit peeing on him. <laughs> right. Oh, so by the third series, he just ended up doing a bunch of redos. Oh, shit. And shit, did, I did had a bunch that. of redos and Weapon X. Yeah, well, Weapon I had, X I had the Weapon X one. I, I, I liked that one, too. That, that one's awesome. awesome. <laughs> yeah, that one was really nice. That was one of my favorites as a kid. No, we're all back on normal speed now. <laughs> okay. Sweet. Uh, and uh, Monotony said, uh, the Attic Masker, maybe Anne Frank stole your toy slash. <laughs> oh, shit. Slash, yeah, even the, the box on wrong. this. Even the box on this is fucking awesome. Just yeah. Yep. But, man, my hands, they're, they're just itching so bad. Ah, Jesus! I tell you. <laughs> I, oh. Adam, Woo! watch out. Is that how you lost that eye? <laughs> you know, it, it might be. They just kind of, I just got caught. Hold on. Look at that. Yeah, you kind of felt like in the oh jeez. Oh, ah man, I'm telling you, look out. It's it's yeah, they're those are awesome. <laughs> nice. Where'd so, you get yeah. those? <laughs> Where'd you pick those up, Adam? Oh, I got these a long time ago. <laughs> eBay or some long time ago at a con. Oh, sweet. 
Yeah, the good days so, when you you know you picked up non uh, not non uh, movie profit stuff, and you know, I mean, what, it's a pretty what, simple. What what kind of cons are we talking about? Is it the same ones that Axel Foley was dealing with? <laughs> no, we're not in Beverly Hills. <laughs> oh, and Tommy, but but Tommy, just so you know, if I give you money to do something, you're on my time, bitch. So I don't care who Kevin Nash is or Mick fucking Foley, you're gonna fucking dance, monkey. And again, nice. I don't like dance Nash for nobody. Stand up, you just blow another quad. Hey, look, look th th this guy don't dance. I don't dance for nobody. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not coming to a con and giving you money now, am I? Goddamn son of a bitch. <laughs> I'll find you, kick you right in the shins. <laughs> we'll, we'll be too busy watching battle bots being ran by wiener dogs and guinea pigs, bro. Dude, I'm mm -hmm. telling you, one day I am gonna get out there and see this shit. And, and I've got I've got Tony on the hook for that. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, they they they're supposedly they go up into the forearms. The claws. Yeah. What I the? Wish uh, I still had all that Wolverine life. figure. Well, no, well, no, like a Wolverine for real. Like, oh, it, oh. yeah, they, they're supposed to go up into the forearms. Yeah, but yeah. it does it in a way where the bones or uh, move out of the like, way or something like that. Yeah, they kind of like slide a little. Which I was pretty cool though how they uh they broke it down. Yeah. I mean, the movies really showed that properly, which was nice when they did like the uh the X-ray version. I personally like in the Death of Wolverine where they, they say, you know, without his healing factor and everything like that, like how much pain he was in just popping yeah. things in and out. Yep. yep. Never fun. fully healing and yeah. then it kept that was a that hand. was a good run. Yeah, that was uh Mark Miller and um uh Steve McNiven. That was that was a good series. How they did it. Like, it sucked that they well, how he kind of went out, but uh yeah, they eventually brought him back. I've got the uh Five com, I think it's five comic crossover, different ones. It was one where Wolverine lost his animanium. Yeah, where Magneto pulled it out of him. Magneto takes it out of him. Yeah, yeah. I have that Charles issue. Takes I have that issue. Train. Yeah, it was a little. Uh, Let's do those X Men, but Vinny, you draw. And then Professor X yep. has to take Magneto's mind away. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Exactly. Did I the onslaught thing, could, Charles? Sorry. Did man. the did the onslaught thing? come from that storyline too yes yeah okay yeah, i was out of comics by that time but uh yeah me, me too i know that i know that was the cause of it yeah i stopped a number of times like it was kind of stop and go with a lot of shit i, I brought up i brought up one more x -Men. sorry oh yeah 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 there's the other apocalypse yeah that, that was this one. apocalypse I, I, is I, I, fucking awesome yeah. we we, we had that this one motherfucker we mm -hmm. had that one, and we also had that bishop that you shown. That it was on the splash page, and that, that bishop, bishop was good. Was amazing. He Look was. at this shit. Yeah. He's fucking awesome. Compared mm -hmm. to that first first one, looked like the yeah. Ethiopian version. I know. Fun fact: a lot of these uh, toy biz ones, they were sculpted by a couple of guys from Art Asylum. If you guys remember that toy company mm -hmm. back in the day, yeah, I, yeah, I remember them telling. It was like a sweatshop. They said and they were just like cranking <laughs> these things out. Sculpting them all, I don't doubt it. Oh yeah, you had oh. this. You had this bishop. Yeah, that yeah. bishop. I love that. That was one, amazing. Yeah. Hell yeah, I didn't have him. He does look dope. Though. Yeah, he looked, yeah. The guns one, were great. And then the Age of Apocalypse, the original Age of Apocalypse, Apocalypse. Mm hmm. Oh, they got his Jerry curl down. Fucking Pat. Look at that yep. shit. Yeah, the uh, one in the new series, they gave him a haircut, but it looks fucking good. Didn't they I make him bald at one point in the comics? Yeah, yeah, the comics they did, yeah. And we also like, had that that Omega Red, too. Yeah, this yep. Holy was so shit, cool. that was nice with the tendrils. Yeah. Because the nice. tendrils would kind of slide out on like a um like an L latch or something, I think it was. Yeah. On one arm, yeah. Yeah, on one arm. Oh, it was only one arm. I never had this figure. Yeah, before. the other one was like a plug in kind of. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it, it looked good though. They did really yeah. This was such an awesome line, man. <laughs> it was. And of course, they had uh, the same fucking uh, fever that uh, Kenner had to make 900 Batmans. So they made 900 Wolverines. Like, what? I don't know, yeah. man. 
But, I don't think I need this fucking Wolverine. What the yeah. fuck is this? This was this was very specific to a two issue storyline. Jim was Lee this Sonic. about his pre X Men days as as an assassin? Is that what he, it was? He he worked there? with that other guy Maverick. If you remember that character, they, yes, yep. they have a figure of him too. Yeah, yeah I remember yeah. Maverick from from uh, the fucking early Jim Lee series, the early yep. run of the Jim. Lee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's the yeah that's the storyline that this design came from. They also did a cable later on. Mm-hmm. Well, they also spun off because they, they started making X Force figures. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that guy who did Tusk on his back. I had that thing too. Strong guy. Strong guy, yeah. <laughs> yeah strong. That was such a fucking weird figure. Like yeah. Elton John on steroids. It's funny though. Yeah. Uh, I bet he had a few visits by the Fruji. Oh, well, what was oh, the name of the other guy? Because I remember my brother had him. So he he was a guy. I think his name might have been Cabal, uh, maybe, or uh, he was the one that able to able to move morph his arm into like cannons and stuff like that. Oh shit! Did he have like a band, like a red bandana or something? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. I think that was a different character. Um, I I think the one you're talking about was. Hang on, let me see the next couple series. That's what I'm saying. I couldn't remember what his name was. I know they made. Yeah, I can't. I can't remember his name either. I know exactly who you're talking about. Let me see. He's not oh, they here. did do the Jim Lee one there. The cycle. Yeah, the there. Jim Lee saber too, too. Yeah, I did have that one too. Yeah. That was pretty dope. Oh, the brood. I remember mm-hmm. that. But uh, this saber too, that like like he had the uh the jaw, the opening jaw, like one of those ghost like the those ghost Yeah, It's like that. I I like preferred this design, but his movability sucked. Like he didn't he was a little stiff. Yeah, but I think this one's still about the closest. To the comics, ever yeah. Made. Try to like find that guy and, yeah, and oh, yeah. this guy and that right? yeah. This guy, yeah, dude. random, random. <laughs> yep, because I think he had a missile firing action in that left arm. Yeah, if I remember correctly, mm-hmm. missile blasting arm. Yep. yep. See, I was out of comics by the time they introduced this guy. Yeah, so his I don't mute, know who the hell this guy power. Is. It's like, yeah, he was. Uh, it, it, I was. He was growing a penis on his arm. <laughs> there was another character in Marvel who had an arm like that. His name was Bushwhacker, and it was a cybernetic arm. He wasn't a mutant, I don't think. Uh, okay. Oh, that arm. This, still this than one that too. This, this, the penis. This Silver was, Samurai. Yeah, I, this was an awesome figure too that I never got. Yeah, you look good. All chromed out the way what you should be. Oh, yep. his his special thing is his armor. Okay, he has no uh, no superpowers. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, it was like, okay, a, it was like a magic blade or some shit in the comics. But yeah, Magneto that's, that's was always cool. one of my favorite villains. So Ran, oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> so his name is Ran. You know it, brother. So uh, just... Vin- Vinny, did you have another? Uh... I have an, another X Men one. If you guys want to see that, yeah, yeah, you might as well roll with oh, yeah. it. Yeah. So yeah, yeah I, I bought. Spoiler alert: You saw him in the beginning of the uh, Cyclops one. So uh, as uh, uh, Adam was saying, uh, Magneto's his favorite. It's one of my favorites as well. And uh, here he is. And this was a pretty cool one as well. Uh, like I said, I I don't have a well. I didn't have a version until this one. Uh, with the proper red and purple and the scale, um, the good articulation and whatnot. Um, again, beautifully done. This was from Series 1. As you can see, Magneto, Wolverine, Rogue, Storm, Bishop, and the Gambit. That was the full line on that. Um, and, yeah, they, they, look, they look pretty good. I already have a Rogue, so I didn't get this one. And I did like Gambit, but... I think he had because the lack of like a wash or extra paint job. I think his hair and the and like the costume itself, like it looked too plain, like something like it was missing. It's missing something, you know. And I know they released a couple of different versions of him for the regular uh, Legends line. Uh, I might go back and find one of those, but it still looks good. But I think it needed something a little extra, you know. But yeah, Bishop was uh, he was damn solid. Um, I don't know if, if I have the extra dough for it I, and I see him again, I might get him, but, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know if you guys saw this one on the uh, previous video, 
but yeah, here he is out of the packaging. And um, the only gripe I really have with this dude, uh, well, there's a couple of shortcomings that I think they could have solved very easily. Uh, like Slasher was saying, how come he didn't come with an alternate unmasked head that would have put this figure over the top? And he has no fucking base. Character is known for flying and floating and all that stuff, and he doesn't have a base. Oh, so what you stood him up on was from something else. Okay. Yeah, that McFarland yeah, uh, uh, stand. Because it's the only thing I, I like. I have one J.I. Joe that's kind of on there, the swimming one. Uh, can we call that the tuna stand from now on? Yeah, we'll call it. Yeah, he was on the tuna stand. And, uh, <laughs> but yeah, it, it, it sucks, man. Like, what the hell? Uh, Hasbro always, they do this all the time. They have so many characters that are known for flying and stuff, and they don't, they don't add a, a, an extra little base or something for them. You know, it, it was annoying. And he didn't come with any extra little effects to snap on the wrist like a lot of other figures. He just came with an alternate pair of hands. That's like, what the hell? This is your main villain. You're one of the main X-Men villains, and you don't give him the extra. Yeah, no hand thing for his you know, power to be lightened up or whatever. Right? You know? So you could see his face a little bit if you do move that plastic. It's softer. So if you want to kind of see the rest of his face, you kind of could. Um yeah, there's the, like the kind of peg to keep the cape in place, but the cape does not come off. Um, I just could lift a little bit in the back. Um, I thought it was a little bit weird too that they painted like the eyes, like that shadowing. It, it doesn't bother me, but it was sort of weird. Like I, I wasn't expecting that since like there's no other real like paint application. It's like solid plastic all around, and then you have like that weird kind of shading that they did for the eyes. But uh, it's still okay though. It didn't bother me. Articulation is pretty good. He's a little bit more limited than Scott. Um, but uh, again, like his, you know, the torso, that's that's pretty extreme. So you get him in, into some pretty good poses anyway. Um, he doesn't have any shin uh, swivels like uh, like Cyclops because I guess the, uh, the way that they – I mean, they could have put it at the top, but they didn't with the shin. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's all right. Uh, he could kick his own ass. Uh, so, yeah, nothing there. Um, but, yeah, he does have the ankle. And the, the feet are a little bit softer plastic. So just be mindful when you're if you do get him. Um, the only thing I, I'd say about this figure, I think the legs felt slightly short. Like he's not fully proportioned. Like his arms feel a little bit longer than the rest of them. If they even give like a quarter of an inch longer for his legs – I think he would have been a lot more balanced and especially next to other figures. Like he should be bigger. He felt like a slightly smaller scale, like ever so slightly, but on the flight stand or something like that, you don't notice it, it doesn't, it doesn't mean anything because you could just kind of, you know, you point his toes forward and uh, yeah, it's uh, yeah. The figure is fucking beautiful because yeah, it's, it's sculpted really well. And that's the only thing I do like about the 97 stuff. They didn't make them extra super ripped like some of the other Marvel Legends or they didn't put the wash on it. So it looks a little bit softer in comparison. And I think that's more like kind of comic book accurate, you know, at least in my opinion. But uh, again, like, look, you, you put them even on a junky, shitty tuna stand like that and you could still get a really nice pose out of them. Like, that's what you need. Like, how did you not put something like that in there for them? Like they're they're so stupid and lazy. So you have to go on Amazon and buy it, Vinny. Oh no no no! It's, with all those shitty McFarlane figures that came out, at least he had a good number of them that came with flight stands. Yeah. So yeah, I just grabbed one of those and bam. But I go. meant them. I was answering your question. That's why they don't do it. So you have to run out to Amazon and buy. You know, spend more money. Yeah, it sucks. But I don't even think they sell it themselves. So it's like, what the hell? Yeah. They're, they're dummies. They're they're just dummies. The one stand that I saw they did something like that with um, was the white suit Black Widow um, that ended up going on clearance and shit too in those stores. She came with a really bizarre one with like a, um, like a weird mechanism too and a strange kind of clear base. It was just ugly and gaudy as shit. Um, I don't know why these companies can't design a proper one because even this one, it's all flimsy. So, but um it does the job if you if you need it up in the air like that um but yeah like i said these, these look really good 
and uh, I do have I do have a little bit of a surprise in this review. There's another character that I got in a slightly older wave. He's right there. Look at Juggernaut. Fucking awesome. Yeah, he was a he was a build a wave figure. This yep. one. And yeah, he was he looked great. Imposability, not the best, but you don't need him to really pose that well when he's that big and imposing. And the sculpt itself is so nice. So yeah, I wanted to kind of show almost like a, you know the Brotherhood of Evil type of thing here. And uh, yeah, I, I think they look amazing together. But like, look how much shorter. I know he's crouched down and his legs, yeah. but look how much smaller he looks in comparison to like Goblin Queen. But yeah. oh, she's also wearing heels. That's also <laughs> true. But that's why you want. You want uh, Magneto to be a little bit taller, not a little bit smaller. So, but um, uh, overall, though, still a really nice figure. I think I gave him like a, like an eight out of ten. Um, had he come with the alternate head or the extra base or something, yeah, he could have been an easily a ten because he looks awesome. And yes, there is a, there's a, there's a Wolverine here. I did I did open him up, and I gotta say, just kind of messing around a little bit to get him. Um, like in this shot, he is a really good Wolverine figure. I think one of the best. So um, yeah, you'll you'll probably see a review on him soon because um, that's that's a really nice one. And the head sculpt too is is fantastic. So yeah, overall yeah, eight out of ten. Uh, very nice, very nice figure. And yeah, go buy my book still. Yeah. Tag on. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll leave it on Magneto here for a second. But uh, are uh, they at it again, Chaos Hoy? Again with their shit? Who's that? YouTube? YouTube. Oh shit. Well, I mean, you know, if we're just gonna tater around <laughs> talking about one of the best looking Wolverines that they ever made, you know. Dude, that thing is funny, man. That thing is cool. You know, I just I can't, you know, it's always about my tater. But I mean, I, I like do that. love the fact that uh see I've got the original age of apocalypse. Yeah, you do. Wolverine, which way back in the day, it's even got the toy biz, baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, those are nice. But the Cyclops for this one had the scratch down eye where he blew off his freaking arm. And then I have also, of course, Magneto. Yeah, that's that's the one. And then the one that Tommy sent me, of course, the Cyclops. So yeah, right? so those yeah. are beautiful. And yeah, I mean, since we're gonna X man it up a little bit, you know, you showed yours, so I guess I gotta show mine. Let me whip it out. <gasps> we got the juggernaut, bitch. <laughs> so I mean, you know, gotta hell yeah, dude. That's that's the whole point of this, man. I mean, again, you know, we've got stuff everywhere. You never know. And buy his book. It's so nice. I bought it twice. I got it on the wall. Well, I got the stuff on top of it. But go check out Etep stream from earlier when we were having fun, and I show yeah. I flashed them then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, real, real quick, uh, CJH, um, I, I get what you're saying. I, I completely feel like that. But unfortunately, I don't care if you buy it from a third-party company. Technically, you've already paid Disney the minute you buy it. Mm -hmm. doesn't matter who you buy it from. Because you got to remember, these toy companies are not giving Disney a cut of the toy sale. They pay them for the licensing. Yeah, That's how it usually works. So they, they pay mm -hmm. Disney for the licensing to be able to produce these damn toys Sometimes maybe there might be a small percentage depending on the franchise, but most of these now they're they're paying Disney for the licensing and then they sell the toys. So yeah. Disney has already made money off these things regardless of whether anybody buys them or not. And that's why Hasbro had gotten into such huge fights with Disney over the Star Wars stuff about why they wanted to produce the older stuff and not the newer stuff because they were the only ones losing money. Yep. Which sucks, man, you know, because it's like, I don't know, when they want to step it up, they they get their hands tied. And then when they keep dropping the ball, it's like they're trying to save on, on other lines and other waves of figures. Uh, it it, it kind of is shitty. But like I said, I'm not getting full waves for that reason, too. I, I, I hate it. I know every dollar that you fucking spend on, on, on this stuff, you know, you feel dirty. But at the same time, though, it, again, these are characters I really liked, and this is the first time we're we're seeing them this well done. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna get a couple of them. Yeah. Wait, you know what? I I think there's times where it's actually a thumb in Disney's eye. So whether or not Disney has control of Marvel, let's say they produce an older figure, and it was the only reason I got that retro version 
of the Ghost Rider because that's a thumb in Marvel, you know, I should say Disney Marvel's eye because I'm I'm buying a character is not associated with anything that they're doing. Yep. Currently. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's something older. It's not something newer that, you know, they, they've got, you know, like their, their paws all over. And um, that kind of shit agitates them. So in the oh, I know you have the older uh, the Toy Biz Ghost Rider series, right? You, I know. Yeah, you well, they they were all my brothers, yeah, yeah. But um, they never made an old school Johnny Blaze. They I know they must have made like the newer one where he had the Hellfire gun. Yeah, that, that Ghost was Rider were like buddy cops, you know. Yeah, you know? Uh, they did something in the three and three quarter, like the newer one I picked up like years and years and years ago, but mm-hmm. I missed out on that because I'd never seen it anywhere because I was. That was before online stores and everything, and that right. was you know your brick and mortar, and if you can't find it, you can't find it. Yeah, it didn't exist other than mail away. Uh, yeah, CJ. Uh, part of that does lead into that kind of stuff too, whether or not they could do it because I got to pay for licensing. I I, I, I really like those fucking Ghost Rider figures you got. That uh, you they made a vengeance one, right? They yes, they did. Had, yeah. mm-hmm. I think he had pop off spikes or something on his back or something. I know yeah. I never fucking well. I guess I was not going to toy stores at the time when they were out, so I kind of missed them. I guess. Yeah. But those were fucking awesome. Now, you you ain't wrong, CJ. You know, CJH. Uh, there was a lot of those early spiders. Like the first time I seen like a really tremendously articulated Spider-Man figure was from Toy Biz. And that thing had tons of articulation. Uh, not quite the rival what we see now, mm-hmm. but at the time, it, it was incredible what they did. YouTube well, is shutting you down, too. Jesus. Again, the What's shit with these people. Jesus. I was going to say, uh, regarding like a Spider-Man figure that had like the most articulation I've ever seen, it was a big figure. It was like an 18-inch figure, if that's when you're talking about. The one I have from – I have the uh, – I have a Sinister Six set from sometime in like 2003 or 2004 or something like that. Okay. And this, the Spider-Man figure I have from it, that's just that got a ton, <laughs> a fucking ton of articulation on it. The, like the hands, each finger moves. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, because, yeah, the uh, Spider-Man was like that. He had, yeah, uh, every knuckle on the finger – uh, his feet were kind of big though for for what it was, but it was a damn good uh, damn good figure. I know KB like um, when they were they were starting to go out of business, uh, they had that thing on sale, and I believe it was a huge figure, eight, like an eighteen inch figure with all that articulation, and he was like under twenty bucks. It was ridiculous. Um, but yeah, very very fucking cool. Okay, I, I'm gonna take a one TV time out here for just a second. Yep. Uh, YouTube. Fuck you and fuck that shit eating mouse, you motherfuckers. It's it's my own fucking channel, and I can't even say what I want in my chat. You could suck my fucking balls, you cocksuckers. There you go. Wow. Fuck them motherfuckers. You see that shit in the pro- in the uh, in the chat, right, Benny? Where they rejected it all. Oh, uh... You 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 should see. It. You may, maybe you don't see it on your end. I don't see a rejected thing. Here. Yeah, I yeah. YouTube rejected your comment. This usually means they think it's spam. Hey, fuck you, YouTube. You can wow. kiss my ass, you cocksuckers. And this is going to be the reason why your fucking platform is eventually going to fail with all this bullshit with your censor and crap. You fucking demon crack cocksucking motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. Fuck you, people, man. You can yeah. kiss my ass. I think I'll just take the monetization off my stream. Uh, fucking motherfuckers, man. They, they fucking suck. I, I'm so sick of this shit with them. Mm-hmm. I've been putting up with this shit from them for five fucking years, and I'm just fucking sick and tired of it. I know. Man. And they're like, uh, and they, they go certain streams too. Like, I used to get good traction on the toy streams uh, when we were doing them, and like, those don't really get anything anymore. That's why I've been, I've been splitting the views on other places because YouTube, they, they're being dickheads. I do good on the shorts and a couple of uh, the, uh, like the regular videos, but yeah, live streams, like, yeah, they've been tanking them recently. CJH Entertainment, you were not wrong. You know why? Um, Even with the problems that Musk has over there with the fucking Uh lefty weirdos he's got fucking monitoring people, it's nowhere near as bad as fucking YouTube. They're a bunch of communist fucking pricks. They are. I'm sorry, Vinny. That's okay. 
they, they piss me off. Um, I, I want to get back into something more fun before I wind up losing it. I'm going to send the pigs over there and nibble off every last toe, every cocksucker at fucking YouTube. And you Google moderators, you can absolutely suck my fuzzy ass. But um, no, I'm going to go into something that's a little bit more fun. Oh, monetization is already off on this stream anyway. I, to check. <laughs> I mean, fuzzy just, asses and all, you know. You can always just cut my whole segment out. <laughs> no, I ain't cut shit out. Uh, no, I'd rather leave that in. I'm just not cut, cut YouTube out, period. Yeah, yeah, they, they're pissing me off, man. That's why I keep saying, uh, God damn it, Rumble, uh, get your fucking game together too. Because mm -hmm. if you can get your game together and absolutely rival YouTube, a lot of us wouldn't have to use fucking YouTube shitty ass platform anymore. Exactly. But I digress. I digress. Exactly. So here we go with another figure that I picked up. Once again, this is an Ollie's figure. I picked this thing up for $9.99 at Ollie's. This figure is a Voyager class Transformers figure that was normally, uh, well, now Voyager's are 35. And I'm pretty sure they were at least 30 back then. So $9.99, incredible price. Actually, it still might have been 35 at the time. Either way, um, I passed on this one initially, but after getting this thing on the table and checking it out, I got to say uh, it, it's more than worth the $9.99. So here we go. Welcome back. This is where we're hanging out with Cliff Jumper, the master of the Transformers, Mr. Payment Upfront Pig or No Review. And we're getting ready to show off something else Transformers related, something I've had in the back for quite some time. Uh, pick this one up at discount. Thank you. Ollie's always coming through. When I see a figure, I'm not sure that I want to pick up at the store shelves for those absorbently high prices but from the Velocitron Speedy of 500 collection we got Cybertron Universe we have override $9.99 at Ollie's can't beat it I think they still have more so if you have a local Ollie's I would definitely check it out if you would like to pick this one up I'm not really well versed in this character so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research to see more about it as we get into this review so let's go ahead get it out of the box and take a look at it. First released in 2005 as part of the Cars Galaxy Force toy line, Nitro Convoy was part of those speedsters that was released during that wave. Later on, it would be released as part of Hasbro's Cybertron line, where she would be more developed in the cartoons we go with the other add-on that's part of Override. It's a bit of a backpack piece, supposed to be, I guess, representative of an engine, but it winds up transforming something else that is pretty cool. Also, to be noted, in the cartoon and I believe in the comic books, Override is listed as the leader of Velocitron. Here we go with All Transformed. Uh, this one was very, very easy to transform. No problem whatsoever. It's actually, uh, in comparison to a lot of the newer ones, this was actually a joy to transform. Did not have any issue whatsoever. So you take that backpack piece or the uh, back engine piece, and it kind of transforms itself. You just fold out these two pieces like that, and that becomes her weapon. Nice double blaster right there. Looky, looky right there. Can get down into a full kneeling position and fairly easily, too. Very solid, too. Like, this is not rocking. There is nothing to this. is just perfectly balanced. Go, we're zooming in and taking another look. It's more the articulation that it has. Uh, I think this one looks absolutely spectacular. And this is one of the ones that, uh, when I originally looked at this on the shelf, I was like, yeah, that's a bit of a pass for me. But, you know, overall, so far, this figure is pretty astounding. The Transformers will return after these messages. Nice. Yeah, so I, I do have another part in there. Yeah, yeah, Power Mad Dictator, and they are all over Disney's cock. Uh, but, um, yeah, this figure, absolutely amazing. Like, I didn't know a whole lot about it, and I had to look into it. And, yeah, it was part of the Cars line with their Galaxy Force, and it was called uh, Nitro Convoy. And then I found out, yeah, it 
Hasbro had redone it as part of their Cybertron line. So the original backpack piece that is part of the engine in the uh, Cybertron one, it's actually spring powered. Mm -hmm. So yeah, those two things would flop out. Now later on, as part of the G1 era, they did have a trigger bot called Override. I don't know if it was supposed to be representative of her from the um, Galaxy Force from Takara, but it was a motorcycle, and it did have spring-activated weapons on the motorcycle that would uh, okay. flop out. What it was, yeah. So they do have that available with the G2 ones that they have as part of the Walmart exclusive. So I, I probably will go back and look for that one now that I know who this character is. Yeah, I had no clue. And that's part of the problem with the little bit of the um, discrepancy in the toy line. So even though they were unified, and yeah, we did lose Adam, even though they were unified, Hasbro was still doing some things that they they didn't have what Takara did. So there were certain bots that only Japan had. Like there was the train bots, Overlord, uh, and initially uh, this figure right here. Until has you know Hasbro wound up porting it over into a, a different line, but yeah, pretty interesting overall. So um, getting to the second half of this figure, and yeah, I gotta say, I, like overall, I'm just like I was extremely impressed with it. Like nice. really amazing shit. We now return to the Transformers. <laughs> Ready? Anytime. Then rev up. Here we go with our last pose with Velocitron. Strutting a little bit of a sassy pose right there. Uh, there is tons of movement in this one. There is a, a nice thigh swivel. There are arm swivels all the way in the elbows, uh, up near the uh, shoulders and everything. All, everything in this one is really well done. There's hand turbot. There's a little bit of a waist turn. It is a little bit limited by the kiblets in the back that are part of her vehicle form. But overall, you still get a little bit of movement there. Nice joint movement up at the hips. A little bit of rock down the feet. And the feet are a little bit limited, but her feet are so huge, you can see she can balance pretty much just on one foot. Like, this is very well done. So even though there isn't tons of extra articulation in the feet that you would need for a lot of these other figures to make them stand, this one can do it on its own on just about one foot. Uh, that is pretty damn impressive. So overall, I would say this is a damn good figure, like really well done. Uh, when it's fun to transform to, that's always a plus because that leads into more playtime for those that like to sit there and play with them, whether you're a kid or whether you're an older kid. Th these things are a blast to play with when the transformations are very intuitive and you don't kind of look at a 20 page manual to be able to figure out how to get through all the damn steps. Um, I would say, this one so close to hitting it, and I would say that this is a very, very solid 9 out of 10. That is all we have on this one. What did you guys think of our assessment on this one? Be sure to let Cliff Jumper, the Transformers expert, the master of the Transformers, know what you thought about this one. The Transformers, more than the eye, the Transformers... Yeah, that was nice, especially for ten bucks. That's yeah, that was a steal, uh, dude. I, I was just so impressed with the balance on that damn thing. The balance was absolutely amazing. And the only other figure that I've seen Hasbro do recently that had that kind of balance in all these different poses was Perceptor. Nice. So the fact that this one was just about able to stand on one foot too, because I just had like the tip of the toe. Like, had her in, that, like, that sassy pose, like, lifting one leg up, you know, like a yeah. female pose. Uh, yeah, no problem. No problem. Absolutely perfectly balanced. I, I I tapped it a few times. was not falling over. I was like, damn, that is well done. Absolutely excellent. Uh, like cool. I said, it, if you don't know this character, look into it a little bit. Uh, even if you want to get this one to repaint it and, and do a custom figure, this is a hell of a solid base for a figure. Absolutely incredible. Nice. I like that. Good shit. Yeah. Yeah, so I, yeah. I let Cliff Jumper know. Uh, Cliff Jumper was just nomming uh, some lettuce right now. Uh, it, it's it's not it's not filming time, but he still demands payment anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, he needs all the extra he can get right now to make sure he gets completely healthy again. So. That's right. 
that Tommy'd be tapping those transformers. Yeah, it was a shame she didn't have no ass on her, right? <laughs> it wasn't like Lady J where she had a little bit of puff in the back end. Um, that yeah, very, very nice figure though, man. Absolutely impressed with it. So very cool, man. Yeah, that was, that was, I like that. I, I might go back and look for a couple more because mm-hmm. I think I might want to get a couple and do some customization stuff with it because it was mm-hmm. such a solid figure. Yeah, man. And and again, for, for the price, yeah, you might as well. Especially, like I said, because it's a Voyager class figure. It's a little bit bigger yeah. than the other ones. It's normally at a higher price point and yeah. still to be nine ninety nine. I mean, shit, you can't even get a core class figure out in regular stores right now for nine ninety nine. So Yeah, that's the truth. Jeez, what are they going for like twelve ninety nine now? Twelve ninety nine yeah. is the average. Plus tax and yeah, it's it's bullshit. Or you know it, it's twenty bucks for everything, you know. Yeah, more or less. Uh, usually, was... if you usually you get good acrylic paints, Soul Assassin, uh, I prefer spraying the paints on myself and then hitting it with a clear coat. The clear coat is going to be what keeps it from scratching off. Hmm. I do that with all my battle bots. That's why most of my battle bots, uh, and it's not to say not all of them, but they, most of them do not lose their paint in the battles because I clear coat them after I paint them. Smart. Yeah. Yeah, Cliff Jumper was held himself a pig party. <laughs> it's a pig. Ha. Tay. But uh, we're getting close to winding down here. Mm-hmm. So um, I do have one more thing. I have an extra toy break that I created for something that's going to be coming up in the next week or so. So. Uh, I, I don't really like broadcast those things, so when they happen, I just don't talk about it. Uh, some of my close friends knew, but it, yeah, it was uh, my anniversary last week. So uh, the wife had actually picked me up something for my anniversary, and uh, yeah, it was something I wasn't sure I was going to get, but I did pick up the Leonardo from the you know creature from the Black Lagoon the Universal Monster crossover TMNT, and she found another one of them for me that was from the first wave. And I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, really? Like, I, I was actually surprised it was still out in the wild. So, oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, we're just going to go ahead and I'm going to get a quick show off for that. And it will be coming either next week or the week after. But more than likely, it's going to be next week. So, here we go with a quick show off. Coming in hot with another quick toy break right here. This one is going to be relatively short. But recently just had an anniversary here at the Guinea Pig Collective. And we got a present. And what did we get? Something that we will be showing off either next week or the week after. We've got Raphael as Frankenstein's monster from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles crossover with universal monsters we'll take a quick peek at this guy and this one should be a lot of fun to review i know i had a lot of fun with the leonardo as a creature from the black lagoon and this looks like this is going to be another good one to review It is a nice looking figure. So um, as we're getting getting down into wind down mode, uh, there, there is something else I want to share. And it just kind of falls right in line with that one. Mm-hmm. And that's why I was kind of waiting to uh, talk about this. So we have this 
which they're, they're already doing pre-orders for this, and they are going to be released on the 23rd. So two more days, they're going to be out and about in the Walmart. you got another Walmart exclusive here. you got the original four Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys being re-released again in a four-pack this time. So really nice, really nice. Uh, granted, you're not getting the traditional packaging that you would get with the individual figures, but you are getting the original four figures exactly how they appeared in 89 when they came out. Yeah. Which is, again, that's beautiful. Uh, they're saying 87, but I, I seem to recall them not coming out in the 89. Oh, because they held it for the cartoon. Yeah, they did. Oh, no, I got them in 88. 88? Was it 88? Yeah. I got that. Yeah, I got that, that. The first series, I got the four turtles, 88. Okay. I don't, maybe they were made in 87, but I remember getting them in 88. Yeah, I know they didn't come out in 87. I, I thought it was 89, but yeah, it probably was 88. But um, definitely wasn't 87. They got that wrong in the back of the packaging. Yeah, once again, they were made. Good that were they they were ready to make them. Uh, the problem was his playmates refused to go into full swing production until a cartoon was made. Yep. Mm -hmm. And if, if you want to find that, you can easily just uh, you can look up the toys that made us. They talk about it there. There's also quite a few articles that talk about that as well. Yeah, they they held out for the cartoon because they wanted because they knew everybody had success with toy lines if they had a cartoon and usually a comic book. Now, since the comic book brother. was obviously out first. Well, we need a cartoon too to push it. So yeah, what was it? It was uh, the it was the 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 rule of three. It was toy, cartoon, and ads. No, com uh, uh, another product. Um, comic. comic book. Yeah. Well, yeah, the comic books. Well, you're, I'm talking about their oh. promotional. Their promotional because the toy, you, they want to sell the toy. So mm -hmm. their promotional way of selling the toy was a comic book, a cartoon. And then traditional ads. Yep. It was. A, I'm, just trying, I'm just trying to think of like the third. I think it's yeah, the it, thing that McFarlane was saying, like what he like his three things was cartoon, toy, like toy, cartoon, and something else. Yeah, yeah, Is but we don't, we don't we don't Is listen we don't listen we don't listen to Tuna Man because he. I know. I'm just saying. I've heard a couple of people say <laughs> say like this was like their their main three uh, spots of advertising their shit of. Uh, yeah, yeah like the cross-promotion stuff. Yes, yes. Now, I, I wanted to point out something else, too. Like, with a lot of these figures, even at Walmart, these figures are going, roughly going for about $9.99 a figure. So uh, they're keeping that right in line with $39.97 price. Now, unfortunately, if you do go to Target or some of these other stores, they're charging $12.99 for these figures. So the fact that it is a Walmart exclusive, which I know Vinny has a sore spot with that, as well as I and a lot of other people, mm -hmm. the right. fact that it's still thirty nine ninety seven for all four of these original turtles, I do that's not good. think it's bad. I do yeah, not think good. that's a bad purchase. I mean, if so. it's something that you've always wanted, I don't see an issue with it. I mean, yeah. you know, if it brings yeah. you joy, fuck yeah! And you're oh, not I like that they stuck bucks. to the color scheme. Yeah. I like that they stuck to the color of the turtles too. Mm -hmm. and they're mm -hmm. all different yeah, I, of green. I like that they stuck. To I agree. No, no. My my issue is that they're like impossible to find when it's yeah. Walmart exclusive. That's that's my no. only issue. Yeah, because yeah. it's like again, I, I went to stores looking for the uh, the Bret Hart and the Roddy Piper, and yeah, not to be seen or found anywhere. Well, well that, I mean, that, I that shockwave that I was showing, right? That shockwave uh, figure with the motorcycle was a what exclusive? I can't remember what it. I sent you the link. Uh, I forgot what it oh, was. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I, for, I forgot what, what place it was, too. Well, I was going to say, as far as some of the exclusives, I have found them in my stores, once again, because I have magic Good stores. Good for you! Because I have magic stores, and you don't fit in this. <laughs> but uh, I, I, found that, I found that exclusive Mossman figure, and not only did I, when I decided to finally pull the trigger on that one, <laughs> not only did they have a bunch that I could have grabbed from, but they were actually discounted, too. <laughs> so <That's awesome. laughs> it doesn't get any better than that. Find an exclusive figure and get it discounted too. Yeah, there, mm -hmm. there's nothing better than and that. And it smells like pine. I mean, yes, and it smells like pine. And I was just dying about that. But wow. yeah, um, I, I would definitely keep your eyes out for those if you ever wanted to get the original turtle figures. That that looks like a really nice uh four pack right there. It yeah. does. Yeah. 
I mean, I think it would be kick ass if they were black and white, you know, like the original comic. But, you know, for a toy, for, you know, kids and whatnot. You you know what? You know what, Adam? If you were looking for a black and white that looked exactly like the original comic, Mezco toy. Yeah, I saw those ones you were talking about. Yeah, yeah, Tommy. The ones where they they got the, not just the little turtle dick nubs (laughs) for tails, but where they have the skinny, they got the skinny, but the long skinny necks. Yep. I saw those figures you were talking oh, about. Yeah, almost bell shaped bodies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What? Well, well, okay, they all, they talking, all look like they're taking shits. Uh-huh. I, I'm talking about the regular line. I'm not talking about the um, exclusives. I'm just talking about the regular turtle line figures, mm-hmm. like the um, uh, the ones with the storage shells and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. those are all oh. for twelve ninety nine. Um, but the, the you know the regular line figures that weren't exclusives. Uh, you could find them at both Walmart and Target, but the same ones that are crossover between both stores that are not exclusive, Target sells them cheaper. Uh, the Target exclusive for Turtles were the Mutating Turtles, which are actually still on pegs in Target right now for fourteen ninety nine, and the exclusive for Walmart, which are still out right now before these ones drop, are the uh, Pizza Tossing ones, which I did Raf last week. I think that was. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was only nine ninety nine. So yeah, it, 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 there, there's a huge discrepancy in pricing between Target and Walmart, and it's starting to get harder and harder to even want to go to Target to try to shop for anything anymore with their prices. I mean, I, I said the same thing last week about that Godzilla RC toy, forty five in Walmart, and that's what I waited for, as opposed to fifty nine in Target. Mm-hmm. Why should I pay that much more? Fourteen was it fourteen dollars more? Just to buy it in Target, I should, yeah. and I won't. Yep, you're right about that. Uh, and I bet a good chunk of those figures you're gonna end up finding at uh, at Ollie's anyway. Probably some of them, yeah. But yeah. I, I know a lot of the um, a lot of the really core characters that you know everybody wants to snatch up. They don't last very long on on the the pegs. Like okay. you're probably going to see a lot of Ray Flay. And stuff like that wind up at just Ollie's like back in the day. Them. It's just like back in the day when these figures were on the shelves. What well, like he, like Masters of Universe and Buzz Off, where it was in the clearance. Extendar, <laughs> mm-hmm. Extendar <laughs> was a he was yeah. a guy that was always on the fucking shelf wherever a fucking Toy Star was. That that other guy with the mustache and the he he almost looked like a sheriff. Who was the guy with oh, the Cal Rio one? Rio, Rio something, right? Rio Blast. Rio yeah, Blast. that guy. That yeah, guy. Yeah. That guy. Uh, he loved the shelf. Well, he right now, figure. right now, my Ollies, they do have a few of the Masters of the Universe too. So they have. Um, if you're lucky, you might find the uh, first origin or you know origins version of Skeletor floating around. If you're lucky, every once in a while, my Ollie still has one or two floating around. They also got the Battle Armor Deluxe version of Skeletor, the regular Battle Armor. Skeletor, and then they got the battle armor He Man. Uh, neither you know that He Man or the the other one that I didn't say was deluxe. They're just standard figures, so they got the very plain matte like finishes. Like the He Man's got just like a a gray plastic look to his armor, and if you got the deluxe one, it was a chromed like yeah, a, yeah, yeah. it was like chromed over. And mm-hmm. then if you got the really super fancy deluxe, the one I got it came with Battle Cat. And a big giant base and little dragons and everything else. That one was, yeah, that's my definitive one. So nice, but nice. yeah, it just you just never know what you find in this play. Yeah, Fisto. Yeah, another peg warmer. <laughs> I, and that, I never liked him. I passed on him multiple times in the. Who was this line. horse? <laughs> Stridor. Okay. <clears throat> Which I do have that one. That's actually a fairly decent toy. I saw, I saw that. I was asking uh, Etep if he wanted it because uh, I saw it in Ross during the holiday season. And it was only like fucking four or five bucks. He was pretty why. big. Yeah, it, it's it's a large freaking horse, man. Yeah. But, yeah. Kind of crazy. But uh, that that's everything I got, Vinny. Um, one sec. Let me just save this. There was something else I saw recently. Hold on one second. Sorry, I was kind of, I was, well, actually, we were just talking about He-Man. You guys want to sneak peek at something before I show some figure stuff? Nah. 
<laughs> I, I didn't get a chance to post it up yet. So, uh, yeah, because I was just making sure that it's cleaner for the uh, uh, for when I, I post it on the website. <clears throat> Hold on, present. Here is my latest uh, Masters of the Universe piece. We have the Sorceress. Nice. So, hell yeah. And I'm going to be putting her up uh, on the Volume 3 art campaign soon. Uh, probably by tonight. Better look. Tons of detail in this one. And uh, yeah, I decided to do it with the, uh, this is a ballpoint pen and uh, like blue lead pencil, essentially. So I just wanted uh, to make sure that she was going to stand out a little bit more than the uh, other pieces I've done so far. And uh, I think she does. And it, it's a much cleaner look too. And again, it's a, the Sorceress is one of my favorite characters. You know, she's hot. She's got powers. Uh, the whole kind of lore or how she's, uh, you know, almost like bound to this castle and all that. Like everything about it is just awesome. So I want to make sure, give her the proper, you know, representation that this girl needed. So, yeah. And again, nice thick thighs. That's how we, uh, that's how we like it, you know? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to do a couple more of these characters. And um, uh, there's a reason, there is a bigger reason why I'm doing it and uh, more info on that soon. But um, yeah, I, I, it looks like I'm, I'm going to be, I'm aiming to do another campaign. And um, yeah, I, uh, something before City of Venus too. I'm um, just saying that. So uh, uh, again, I'm uh, absolutely incredible looking piece. Uh, I love Thank that you, you got her falcon form up there flying in the air right next to the castle. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, I, I did that uh, during uh, the stream today. Uh, we were watching the. Uh, it's funny we were watching the Vulture on the, uh, uh, Tales from the Crypt. The, the the one dude the thing was like stalking him. So yeah, let me uh, let, let me get her in there now. Because yeah, I we, I talked about it last night. I wanted to do it, and Tom was like, "Yeah, man, you should do it." I'm like, "Yeah, I, I need to get it in there." And uh, yeah, I, I I did it today. So um, I super but super happy with this piece. Every once in a while, I have some good thoughts too, and it's it's it, we're sitting there like simpatico. We're both thinking the same thing. <laughs> oh, absolutely, man, absolutely. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I will be doing a He-Man as well, and uh, there's another character I'm going to be cranking out for sure. So at, at least two more, um, possibly more. We'll see. Uh, I had a couple of requests for a certain character as well. So, um, Roboto. Yeah, what was that? Roboto. Uh, no, not Roboto, actually. No. Uh, but, you know, I, there's a lot of cool characters, so we'll see. We'll we'll see what else I'll, I'll be. I also doing. remember Roboto was a peg warmer, but for some reason, everybody had him. <laughs> like everyone but me had Roboto. Well, you know, you know, he was in every store. What's funny is this time around with the Origins line, Roboto was the hard one to find. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, he really was. Uh, was yeah, that's the only cool. He Man yep. that was a different color when they made it with the plastics. Baker? I just remember seeing that son of a bitch at Kmart, Target, and Toys R Us. Like, Baker? Baker the blue one. He Man? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That one. I remember that one being a peg warmer. What do you, if mm -hmm. you remember the original line, they actually had a few that were. Um, Made in different countries, and they would do this with a lot of these different lines, like Transformers. Even though we're used to seeing them in the States is one way, and then maybe in the UK they would see more of the Japanese versions of them. You know that they did have companies that would license and do them strictly for South America. So you wound up getting a yeah. few of the mini cars that were uniquely colored to South America. And it's the same thing with He-Man. He had a slightly darker skin tone or something like that. Yeah. So, so these, uh, yeah, I, I, we were talking the other night too. Oh, and I yeah. said uh, they, they dropped the pre-orders for uh, uh, M. Bison and Dalsim from Street Fighter. This is the Jada ones. And uh, I think these look amazing. Very, very cool. Oh, yeah. Jade has been crushing it, man. And apparently all, like, their full line is done, and they're just kind of like releasing them at, at certain times, it looks like. Well, you, you know what? You're talking about Jada crushing it, and it's not just the Street Fighter figures and everything like that. That Godzilla 
RC that I showed off last week. Oh, that, that was that nice. was Jada. Nice. And all the ones that for the uh, Godzilla, you know, X Kong New Empire, and mm -hmm. it's all Jada. That's awesome, dude. See, that's what I'm talking about. Companies are actually stepping up. And I'm curious to see how this cape is going to be because it, it looks like it's wired as well, but I don't know the material that they're that they use. But I love their um, arcade style packaging. Yeah. These things look amazing. Very, very cool. So, uh, hell yeah, man. Um, awesome company doing some some amazing work. Uh, yeah, I have the Chun Li and the Fei Long, and Tommy's got a couple of them. Uh, but yeah, man, I, I'm I'm really impressed. Look at I this! Look at this! Look at this! Chaos Hoy. Uh, he knows a little bit about that stuff. Vega. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what his original name was, and yeah. they swapped them all out and changed like. Everyone but Saget, because Saget was in Street Fighter 1. Right, yeah. Everyone always forgets about Street Fighter. Yeah, no, you're right. And I can't wait. I can't wait to, to see when they drop uh, Sagat there, because I think he looks really freaking good. I know at, at the SH Figure Arts one, they kind of dropped the ball, but Storm Collectibles did an amazing job. It's just he's out of scale with, you know, with the six-inch line, because it's he's a little bit bigger. Um, well, he's kind of massive to be quite honest, but, uh, yeah, so there's that one. And yeah, here is, um, Dalsim. And I, th I thought they did an excellent job with him as well. That thing's beautiful. And they gave him the stretchy limbs. Yeah. So that's cool. So yeah, you could pop out the leg. I see a picture of this. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking pretty, awesome. Dude, that's dope. <laughs> and, and they're all bendy and shit too. So, um, look at this. You could, <laughs> Yoga, yoga fire. So you can sit there and go yoga. That's been Stretch Armstrong only. Yeah. Although I, I hope it's good material because that's the one thing. It's I, I noticed one of the effects, like like the fire effect for Fei Long. It's really shitty plastic that already feels sticky. Yeah, I also see that they sacrificed the fire for Dawson. They 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 gave him long limbs instead of uh. Little yeah. fire blast. Yeah. So we'll see. I mean, he's more known for this, but I, they're kind of equal. But I, I think, yeah, if you're going to do him in a figure format, then, yeah, most people. Uh, want I don't know. He's him. mostly known for screaming yoga fire. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're right. It's, yeah, well, it's both. It's every regular kind of punch and shit or kick. It's like cross goes across the board. Um, yeah, I, I'm curious to see. I see that they do have an extra stand here. So maybe they will add it. Oh, this isn't out yet? No, no. It's just pre-ordered right now. Oh. Uh, uh. So, I don't know. You, you never know. Sometimes these companies will do that last minute. But, yeah, that's interesting that they gave him this articulated piece because, I don't know. That, that articulated piece is for, for a fireball effect. That's what I would assume. Or is it to have him in that yoga pose floating? No, no. That that same that is the same base that they used for Ryu and Ken for mm -hmm. the fireball. The only difference is instead of like that one had like a U shape at the top, uh, theirs was just a straight peg that pegged into the bottom of the fireballs. Mm. But oh. it's the exact it's the exact same base for it. Yeah. He looks awesome, man. Yeah, he does. This, these, yeah, this line, I, every one of them is it's so spot on. So, they yeah. make a and, Kyle yet? Uh, not yet, but I know the um, SH Figure Arts. Uh, he he is he is on their on their list, and I thought they they dropped the license, but apparently they still uh, they just renewed it or something. Uh, Jesus oh, Christmas! A, a freaking big bad toy store ripping people off or what? I seen that freaking Godzilla RC that I got at Walmart uh -huh. for forty five. They're selling for sixty nine. Oh wow! Jesus! Yeah, they're worse than Target. <laughs> yeah, here's the SH Figure Arts one. Um, and he, he does look pretty nice too. That's spot on right there. But yeah, these, this one's way more expensive than uh, than the Jada ones. The Jada ones are way more affordable. So I'm, I'm kind of I'm waiting for that as well. This one I'll probably end up passing on. But um, yeah, the other ones I got I, I got them at, at a, an okay price uh, at like the comic shops, and, and they were getting them in there. 
and you know it helps being friends with some like the managers and shit because they'll, they'll knock a couple bucks off but yeah they definitely did jack the prices up because these were not going for 75 to 80 and now they are uh, that's retarded yeah but, uh, he does look good though they did a very nice job this is not john claude van damme right right <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this one they put eighty dollars on you. Suck a dick. No way. That's way too much. I mean, is he gonna is he gonna glow? <laughs> is he gonna glow? <laughs> it's, you know, like you know, clap on, clap off. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. This is yeah because they they renewed the license, so I guess that's why they jacked these prices up too. But yeah, they have another version of her, and yeah, you can see they did more of like the metallic paint job. And I have her original release. And it was um, Ryu and her that were actually in Toys R Us back in the day. And they were only around 35 to 40 bucks. They were not going for insane prices. And these things are multi-jointed. They come with good effects. Um, I, I do really like this one too. Like, Because um, I, I, when I did the, the Jada review of the Chun-Li one, uh, I had the original version of this one yeah. side by side. They both have pros and cons. I think this one has way more natural movement. But again, it's because of the engineering that they have in here. Because her shoulders, like they're, um, you could even pop them out a little bit. And then they have a ball joint in there. Like there, there's a lot of work that they put into it. There's ball joints up in the diaphragm on the lower part. Um, they, they did a lot. I, I, was, I was very impressed with these and, and how they did uh, all the movement. Even her, the buns, those are articulated as well. Um, and the, the Jada ones aren't, um, but again, Jada, they still did an amazing job. Absolutely. But yeah, this, this one, you're going to get more natural poses and, and yeah, they even have the toe joints. Like they did a damn good job. So pretty cool stuff all, all around. So yeah, I thought I'd, uh, I'd show those tonight. Um, was there something else? So Marvel Legends crap. I don't know. I guess that's about it. Uh, anything else you got, Tommy? Not just my comment down at the bottom of the screen. Yeah. No, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. It's great. Uh, Papa. But, uh, yeah, that, that's about it. Um, that, no, this this has been a fun show as always. Um, you want to kick it on over to uh, – our guests over here, um, super fan Adam Shawhan. Uh, what do you got going on, buddy? Cocaine is a hell of a drug. It is. It is. It's such a hell of a drug. Um, well, in like, uh, I don't know, X amount of hours, I'll be heading over to Ohio. So we're going to Whorehound. So that's that's what I got going on. Hanging out with world class bullshitters, the Eats Up Cool in the Place to Be Reviews, Angela Straven, Justin Proper, myself, and many others, you know, having fun. So, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see which way the uh, the, the uh, quad blows. <laughs> <laughs> the quad blows, <laughs> you know, and yeah, we're gonna have fun, man, you know, and, and again, thanks for doing this, Tommy. This was a whole lot of fun, man. No, don't just thank me. Uh, thank my uh, my co-host as well, uh, Vinny and Slasher. So and Trina, who unfortunately couldn't be with us yeah. this week. Yeah, sending good thoughts all around though. Yeah, but yeah man. Yeah, this was a blast. Um, uh, always a pleasure to have you on, Adam. Uh, we're going to kick it over to our co-host. Hey, I'm stuck. I can't transform. Oh, thanks. I think. Yeah, man. Uh. Uh, thanks for having me, chill, man. Uh, always, buddy. Always, buddy. Uh, huh? one, always one, one, one day, one day, when things uh, when things align properly and the uh, stars and the moons are in the right place, uh, I'm sure we're going to see you back again normally uh, doing some movie talks. Uh, uh, maybe I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I think it'll happen. I think it. I think the ghost of JJ will compel you. <laughs> well, he's not working so far. If he's around, so. God damn it, JJ, do something here. We need help. Just start haunting me. No. He's going to feel a slap in the back of his head out of nowhere. Oh, yeah, but <laughs> that, that would be JJ. That would be JJ. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. <laughs> no, it's not feeling sorry for myself. No, I, we, oh, I know. I know, man. You know. I honestly can't even send links with my laptop. I'm not, 
when I'm saying I can't send links on my laptop or save mm-hmm. pictures or copy anything, I literally can't. Yeah, we're, we're eventually going to get this all worked out. Look, man, if the pig gets the things working the way that, he wants. Or that plus the fucking horrific pain I'm going through. But I'm not going to go on about that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Have a good I night, know. everybody. The chat, panel. Uh, Thank you. Uh, well, I'm in the same boat with you, but uh, we're going to kick it on over. And that, all day long, my foot up a dog's ass. Just bang, bang, bang up his ass. That's my pleasure. Yeah, and that's me. Uh, yeah, um, you know, once again, uh, I want to thank everybody that's been hanging out in the chat. Everybody has been watching on all the platforms. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. And uh, we hope that you had some fun right here. Um, uh, one, one last uh, jab at the, uh, the a- dirty anal bead suckers known as YouTube. Uh, please, uh, please just go suck a dirty cock and, and just drown in some fucking jizz, you son of a bitches. Uh, why do you why do you really feel the need to just keep fucking with everybody all the time, you cocksuckers? And when your platform fucking just completely crashes and burns, I want to be there laughing at you and roasting s'mores over your fucking charred carcass like I'll be doing with Disney. Because you're so far up the fucking mouse's ass, you fucking faggots. Anyway, um, Vinny. Entry link. <laughs> I want to just close the stream sooner. <laughs> <laughs> this is not my fault. Three hours later. Everybody, go back my projects if you could. That'd be fantastic. Uh, and, uh, yeah, if you want to give it to Disney in a, in a hard way, support an independent creator. They hate that oh, even more. Or, or, or work for YouTube. Or YouTube or whatever. <laughs> uh, but um, <laughs> all my books ship immediately, <laughs> unlike most people. Uh, so, yeah, if, if you do want some quality stuff, uh, absolutely, man. And, and original artwork. I got a bunch of original artwork that is uh, over on the um, uh, on the campaign, on, on the uh, newest campaign. I'm going to be putting up the Sorceress, I think, tonight. So uh, for those who are looking, um, she's going to be slightly more expensive than the other ones. But that's because, again, I, I put a whole lot more work, I think, with the inking. And that, that's tricky to do with a ballpoint pen. I'll, I'll tell you that right now. Uh, I had to keep stopping to make sure that I wiped the whole uh, the nib, the tip of it off, because it would ball up and it would give you like big ink blotches all over the place. So uh, it's tricky, but I do like the effect of it, and it's extra clean lines. So yeah, if you're looking for some uh, some high quality stuff, uh, it's definitely there. And in fact, um, yeah, if you if you want uh, a good plug. Uh, we do have uh, we have some uh, we have some presidential plugs. I don't know if you guys were aware of that. Um, apparently, Trump is a huge supporter of mine. Uh, so yeah, Vinny is one of the most talented artists I ever met. A trusted creator who delivers the highest quality on time. Gay frogs are filled with fake drama, and others are looking for their daddy. Those are scam artists giving you subpar product. And all of Vinny's books ship right away. You don't have to wait years after you pay. Enjoy the highest quality comics and art books today. A huge talent. Biden sucked these nuts. God bless America. Thank you, uh, Mr. President Trump. That was uh, that was fantastic. So if you want some good quality stuff, listen to him and uh, go back it. Support it today. You'll be happy you did. <laughs> you know, some people are looking for their mommies or their daddies and, uh, you know, gay frogs and all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's 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 gotten you too. The bug has gotten you. Yeah. You just want to take shots at people. I, so I don't. How it is. Yeah. The, well, I, those aren't people. Those are scumbags. Uh, but yeah, if you want uh, if you want some more entertainment and stuff, uh, tune in tomorrow at five p.m. We're going to be talking about a bunch of stuff. We're going to be going over um, Shogun as well and some other crazy shit that uh, that's been going on in the world. It's it's been a minute since we hit a little bit of uh, you know the topical stuff. So uh, yeah, there's something real strange that happened over in arkansas with uh um airport stuff and wow we'll get into that um it's a, it's a crazy article but yeah um <laughs> it, it, it's 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 a little on the spicy end so that'll be on the second part of uh of uh the stream so uh everybody thank you so much and uh, yeah we'll kick it back over to tom if you want to see any last things go for it yeah, guys, uh, of course, you know where to find me. Uh, maybe uh, still on YouTube. I don't know. Uh, you know, it, it doesn't matter. They're never going to give me a fair shake anyway. They haven't in the past five years because they're a bunch of cocksuckers. Uh, but you can find me over on Rumble and Odyssey, and you can find me on Twitter at capital G P C underscore war pig. 
That's where you're going to find me over there on Twitter. Eventually, I'm going to figure out how to freaking link these things up. Uh, should be able to link everything up with Vinny's is going as well. And we shouldn't have to worry about like rotating and everything. So mm -hmm. uh, eventually, I'm going to start just doing it over there because apparently I'll probably get a better shake than I am here on YouTube, right, YouTube? Fucking cocksuckers. But since uh, they are so far up the mouse's ass, we're going to close out on a really nice song for both YouTube and for Disney. Guys, thank you for joining us. Never let anybody tell you what you can and can't say, what you should or should not think, because your silence and compliance gives consent. And we will catch you next time. Later, y'all.